When do I start? Whenever you're ready. All right, we're started, everybody. <laughs> hey, we're hey. live. Welcome. These cans I have are like too good. It's too much. Those are the ones they give you for free. It's serious. Oh, is that right? You do the uh, Are you show. serious? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Well, welcome to Tuesdays with Stories, folks. we got a bunch of guests here. We're uh, <laughs> recording it live. I'm just kidding, of course. This we is change networks. This is uh, Joe List uh, subbing in for Robert Kelly, who's having surgery today. He couldn't be here. <laughs> no, yes. he's not. He's he having his spleen removed. You didn't hear about this? What? No. Emergency spleen Get surgery. Yes. No. He's he asked me to uh, explain everything to you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was not scripted. Believe it or not, <laughs> <laughs> right off the top of the old nog. But is he really having surgery? No, no, oh. he's uh, on tour with Stav. I'm sure he's bullying Stavros somewhere. Poor I mean, Stavros. Isn't it sad that it like it's m likely that he's having surgery in my mind? I bought it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I believe well, it. Someone's believable. gonna have to buy it. <laughs> he's got insurance, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, filling in for uh, Robert Kelly. Hell of a seat over here. It's a nice. Yeah, so much room. I've never seen the shelf behind you. <laughs> it's uh, it's very <laughs> exciting to be over here, and it's an honor. And uh, a lot of people think you're going to try to pull a coup on me, a mutiny, Louis J. Gomez. Yeah, an Esther coup. You think he knows? I'm going to just is? not be funny and laugh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Lewis, I would say, is the smartest. But that's Louis. If I was going to rank who the smartest people, oh, I would say Louis Katz, one. Louis very Thank smart. You. Louis J. Gomez, two. Deepu, okay. I don't count because he's Indian. That's cheating. Uh, yeah, that's, right. like, that's, like a, that's like being able to say a fish is the best swimmer in the room. Right. Mm. I would say Louis sure Katz. the smartest guy in the room? Louis Katz, oh. one. Louis Gomez, two. I would say Mark, three. And I would say Mike. I don't want to say distance fourth, but <laughs> I, I want to definitely imply it. <laughs> I'm really not a bright guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was very smart to admit it. You have the uh, look well, and voice and, and everything about a dum-dum. Right. And I was always kind of like the youngest guy around, but now I'm not that young anymore, and there's no excuse to be so stupid. R well, I don't think you're – do you really think you're stupid? Maybe a little. I don't know. I don't, I don't really read or anything. I don't. I, I think I you suffer stay. from uh, the accent. I think hurts. Yeah. That hurts doesn't you. help you. But you, you're saying you legitimately don't really read. Do you watch the news? No. But that doesn't really make you smart. I'm talking about smarts. I'm not talking about well, intelligence. Well, hold on. What are you saying? Uh, are you saying like IQ level, or are you saying how? Uh, I'm saying IQ how, level. How much shit they know? Yeah, I think trivia, I'm combining trivia, the two. Trivia, I'm pretty good at. I could probably. I'm combining the two. Problem so solving, how they, how they use a, their yeah. knowledge. A giant umbrella. I like Knowledge, it. history, politics, all things considered. I'd say that I'm the smartest in the room. You think you're smarter than Louis Katz? I don't care. I, I, you know what it is? Really? Here's my problem. <laughs> Just any challenge I want to take. So I'm like, yes. Which means you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you dumber. But Louis, like Louis, a lot of wisdom. You've been to how many countries have you visited? Uh, I don't, a lot. Most most of them. Most yeah. countries. And you've you've been most mo countries no, you is ridiculous. <laughs> Shut up. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, That's a I've dumb to, thing I've, to say. I've been to a lot of countries, and I've, I've, I read stuff. So if that makes me smart, then yes, I can. And you're the oldest. Probably. Probably. That gives you a little more wisdom. I've been to yeah. a lot of cunts. Ah, <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> 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 boy. Who has time to read nowadays, though? <laughs> what do you mean? That's all I have is time. I have so much time. I work really hard as a comedian. No, you I don't. Feel like not if you have a bunch, of, a bunch of time to read. No, yeah. that's stupid. That's a dumb that's thing to say. That's not stupid. What are you talking about? So uh, how much time can you put into comedy? Remember when Harry Potter started all being like 700 pages? <laughs> that's when I stopped reading them. Oh, you read them before that? <laughs> I didn't know there was a before. I read all seven books, and I'm going to read the new book. Yeah, because you're smart. But back to the point. I can sit and write and listen to sets for an hour, hour and a half, which is most more than... 99% of comedians, mm -hmm. and then I send an hour of emails, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, then it's five more, it. seven more hours. Yeah, but to that my means sets. you're not doing that much more with your career. I'm working hard. That's hard work. That's not hard work. Re listening to your sets and sending Having emails. Having nine podcasts is hard work. Yeah, <laughs> right. that's all. But it is hard work. Nailed you, bro. Well, no, I I run a podcast network. I have two podcasts. I have a radio show. That's I, a radio career. I, you I, work hard on your radio I career. I write <laughs> scripts. I fucking go to acting classes. You have acting classes? 
Well, I'm not in one right now, but I do, yeah. Oh, I took shit. acting classes. I got to do that. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm working pretty hard. I think I'm putting out a lot of stuff. I'm doing a lot of TV, a couple albums, the whole thing. I'm on the road. I think you're lazy. And a lot of time, I'm but definitely you... lazy, for sure. I'm saying I work harder than a you, lot. You, but you listed two hours worth of work in your day, and you're complaining about having all the time in the world to read. Of course you have all I'm the time not, in the world no, to read. I'm not complaining. I think his There's point no was complaint. that he gets burnt out. After, you can only put do so many hours of these things, some of these things. My point is that comedy, if you're just doing stand-up, working at a stand-up, you have a lot of free time. That's the benefit of doing comedy. That's what's great about I it. Think, I, I think go to sporting events. I travel. I, I have sex. I think, well, that all sounds fun, but I think those are the good old days of stand-up. I feel like I work. I get up. I yeah. work all day till I sleep, and yeah, that's and every always, fucking day. Yeah, seven days a week. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. send you guys my bank account. Writing I'm doing packets. fine with my two hours a day. <laughs> I'll mean, pack it. Yeah. Well, I figure, like, these days I feel like you have, st at least with me, it's like I have stand-up and then whatever. That's, like, one, I have my to first harass, job. I have to harass female comics on Facebook. <laughs> so uh, you guys yeah. you guys are just swapped <laughs> all day long. Yeah. Like, today, I did. Mark and I recorded some advertisements for our podcast. Yes, we uh -huh. had a, a, a phoner with a TV producer. Yeah, it went that pretty was, well. It did go pretty well. <laughs> and uh, I sat down. I wrote some jokes. I still took the train here. That's 45 minutes. Yeah. I read on the train. Well, no, that's the time where you That's can all read. work. You've worked all day. Yeah. Yeah, I've worked all day, but I have time to read and yeah. go to the movies. What are you reading? I'm reading Bruce Springsteen's book. It's unbelievable. Really? He did not have time to go to the movies today, you fucking jerk not off. Not today, but well, I have. All, I go all the time. Going to the movies is part of the job, because you're trying to write movies sometimes. All right, so now no, I realize no. we're bending I fucking things here. <laughs> well, so I is that. sex. I have jokes about so So is sex, like and part so of the is... Job. Like a bad accountant. You're sleeping you is things, part of the job. you got to put things in to write things out, man. you got to live life a little bit. But right, I mean, yeah, you, you, in the commute, true. there's especially in New York, there's always time to read on the subway. Yeah, so that's you, when you have time to read. I agree. So you should be reading more, Mike. I was reading a ton until I figured out I could download games on my phone. Oh right. uh, boy, that's bad news. That's a trap. Yeah, yeah. you don't want the games. Mm -hmm. That's why. I, but I don't watch any shows. Most of you guys probably watch at least three shows that you watch. Uh, I don't. I, I don't watch shows. I just watched my first show. It was exciting to watch a show. Stranger, the way people Stranger watch. Things. Yeah, I watched because yeah. I never watched anything serialized before, so I had no right. idea what it was like to watch everything in like a few sittings. It's fun. It's fun, but it's also like, man, they stretch this shit out forever. Like oh, a dude. little thing will happen in one episode, and then they're like, well, that's you. You got your little thing. That on was to it. The next yeah, that's a problem with that new uh, black guy superhero show. Is it's uh, <laughs> OJ? When, you, you know, when, you're, <laughs> when you're dealing with superheroes, like especially Marvel, you want like fast pace, like balls to the wall. Right. It's like I, I see that Marvel thing and I'm just expecting a fast pace. And this, like, literally, like, he'll get shot once an episode and like walk through it. And you're like, all right, that's it. Yeah. This that's is, all uh, so that's all the action the whole episode. I, Luke Perry, what's it called? <laughs> Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Luke Cage. I, I, really I thought it was a, I, I literally saw the hashtag, I thought it was a shooting victim. Because <laughs> everyone was like, oh boy, Luke Cage. Uh, I was like, oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, yeah, but he lived. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's the whole thing. Like, the amount of images of black people being shot to death in this show. If you're a white guy, it's pretty awesome. Well, mm. here's the. We're in the minority, though. Most every fucking comedian I know watches every show. Breaking Bad, they were all over. The Sopranos, Yabba Da Doo Das. <laughs> all those shows. Well, whatever show. <laughs> all, right. all those big shows, every comedian's talking about. They yeah, have yeah. bits about. Who's the boss? Mike Lawrence, nobody <laughs> thinks he's lazy. <laughs> nobody would call Mike Lawrence lazy, but he's seen every, every fucking movie. movie and TV show. Where's he getting the time? True. If well, you put in. Doing if research, you work man. a ton, you should have. Three hours of nothing. I mean, to I do. watch it late at night uh, when I'm going to bed. I'll watch a TV show. That's when I'll get to watch one UFC? show. UFC. You're watching all kinds of UFC. Yeah, but that's literally my job. But I think we we get weird if we don't work. We have to work, or else yeah. we, we start drinking. You'll smoke weed all day. Yeah. You get kooky. You get yeah. a little nutty. You gotta work. Cocaine. Yeah. What'd you say? Kooky. <laughs> kooky. But yeah. what I'm saying is. There are most Americans have a job that goes from eight to five plus yeah. the commute. So they're gone from eight to six. Then they have kids. They got to get home, start wine. making dinner. Yeah, gotta, they yeah, well, are like, I don't have time to read. Like, I've realized that because yeah, I'm so home with my time. kid during the day. It's like parents go to work like eight o'clock to five, six p.m. They get home by seven. The kid goes to bed like an hour later. Yeah. Nobody's raising their fucking kids. It's mm. fucking crazy. How little time people are spending with their children. I never saw my parents till I was 31. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. I they never were around when I was yeah. a kid. But never. you're putting in time well, with your kid, minus your seven podcasts that yeah. you're doing. Well, no, I mean, yeah, I spend a few hours a day with my kid. I guess that's an, another reason why I don't have a ton of time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, my, my you're mom, parenting. Think my, about all the times you're parenting. But I'm I work while I parent. Yeah. The uh, other thing is, 
And now he, dude, he fuck, he'll close my computer on me. I just want to fucking punch him in the ribs. That sounds sad. My my mom had to take my autistic brother to therapy a lot when we were younger, and like my grandmother would be home. And one time in kindergarten, I shit my pants, and my mom wasn't there. My grandmother was there, and she had to clean up after me. (laughs) I remember thinking, like, you shouldn't have to do this. (laughs) (laughs) Mom should be here. Did you shit your pants at home or at school? At school, I shit my pants at like one o'clock, and Uh then I just I didn't tell anybody. Good for you. And I, nobody ever found <laughs> out. It's still one of my biggest accomplishments. Wow. Yeah, that's impressive. Give her seen some volume. He's lower than everybody. So you're better at shitting your pants than you are at uh, making love. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, wet my, I wet the bed at a friend's house. I was a real bedwetter. Yeah. Slept at a friend's house, wet the bed. We had summer camp the next day. Went to summer camp the whole day. Piss soaked yeah, and Jesus. hid it from everyone. It was yeah. the hardest wow. day of my life. Wow. People like try to hug. Did me anyone like catch on or anything? Nobody, nobody. nobody. Yeah. They were like, "Come play football, tackle." I was like, "I can't tackle." Did you two do and a half it? hours is a long time to have a load in your pants? Yes, kids, kid would, kids that's, would way to, to, uh, that's way harder to. That's way harder. You, I, would you do the trick where you like, oh, the new fashion is to tie your sweatshirt around the front. Like, that's the cool thing to right. do. Ah. Everyone's doing like that. Like crisscross. If peeing yeah. your pants is cool, I'm yeah. Miles Davis. <laughs> Me and my buddy used to uh, jerk off into his pool a ton. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, yeah. And so you watched like, it swim yeah, everywhere? Yeah, we used to swim everywhere. <laughs> did you stand and over it and jerk off in it? or No, we were like in no. the pool jerking off together. And, uh, yeah, and this is when I first started coming. So it would literally float around. The amount of cum that was in this guy's pool. <laughs> it was a kiddie pool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who said that? You or you? Right. So how much time? Oh, I want to get back to this. So how much time are you spending stand up? Well, here, stand writing. Up? Are you still listening doing to things? <laughs> uh, I, I really don't listen really at all anymore. So we're not writing. Much. I never really what, have. What's your method then? You just kind of go I mean, in and my method is out? I write on social media. Usually I'll write shit on social media and then I'll take that to the stage and I'll try to turn that into stand up. Right. Typically, anything that, like, I'll write it down or I'll write it in my phone, like, during the day if I'm just walking around. And if it's really funny or if I think it's, I can make it into a tweet or something, I'll tweet it out. And then I try to put that on stage. And that's typically my process now to write stand up. Right. I spend um, a lot of time freaking out about it. Yeah. yeah. You know, you just. But now, are you over, listening really to sets? Anything. Um, he, yeah, here and there. I should do it more than I do. But it, it, I think it is helpful. Yeah. Definitely. I listen to the when mistakes. I'm, when I'm doing new stuff or when there's something I was yeah. trying out. You know, it's important. And sometimes, yeah. you know what? You know, there's that weird, mysterious thing where, like, a joke's working, it's working, it's working, and then it just stops working? Yes. Mm-hmm. The tapes know the answer. The like, if you oh, listen really? to the tapes, you can figure out what you're doing if, if you're really careful about it. it you're can like, be oh, like I used the N-word there. <laughs> you should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> but, so it helps to listen to things. But you know what I think you're talking about a lot is there's this, like, a kind of a freelancer's paradox where freelancers should have more free time. Already because smarter you're, than me. You're constantly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're number two, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a freelancer's paradox. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's something he read. He's repeating something he read. No, something, no, something I made up. I made it up. Hey. Hey. I'm, hey. I'm serious. Hey. I made it up. Listen back to this and see if it worked. <laughs> 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 it's not going to work because no one here knows what a paradox is. A freelance paradox, paradox is. Paradox I saw Back to the Future. All right, yes. then. So you know what it means. Because I had a lot of free time. I kept watching it over and over again. Yeah, I saw them on, at OzFest 98. <laughs> Back to the Future? It. Freelance paradox. Oh. Paradox. Paradox. I think you just meant that's a better name. For is that a Pantera? A just fucking go with it. It's a All fake right. band. Who cares? Joke. You think you have more free time. Because you should have more free time because it's flexible, but because you're constantly having to hustle up work, you have no free time. So if someone with a nine to five actually has way more free time, because at, at five right. o'clock they're done, they're clocked out. Do whatever they we want. We're never clocked out. We're and working I think constantly. This is true. Yeah, and, and I think it's also why no matter how much money you make on anything, you always feel like it's not enough. Yeah. Because you're like, all right, the amount of time that I've put into to this not making money off of everything, podcasts, writing, stand up, performing, doing whatever. When you finally get something, you're like, dude, if I broke this down by like <clears throat> hourly, hourly, what wage, I put into yeah, it, yeah. it's yeah. Nine, like nine bucks an hour. It's insane. I wish it was right. nine dollars yeah. an hour. It's <laughs> oh, crazy. Man. Yeah. Making money but all day. I like think you check for like a grand and you're like, well, this has to last me like nine years. Now. <laughs> right. <laughs> but also, I think that that's, you're choosing to not check out. I, 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 what is it? Check out? What is it called again? Paradox? No, no. What is the one? <laughs> check out? Clock, clock out. out. Clock out. I clock out all the time. I mean, you got to choose to clock out. By the way, I Louis work on is stuff. so much smarter than everybody in this room. But I think I'm smarter right now because I clock out. I you fucking couldn't have free even time. think of the live. term clock out, you dummy. <laughs> I couldn't remember his term. That's not short term memory doesn't imply intelligence. But yeah, he's smarter than me. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put my include myself. In I'm ranking. so impressed with this. The Freelancer's Paradox. I forgot the name of it already. It's like, it's like, yeah. it's like a book title. Great but Coolio if, song. If you were that smart, you would clock out and enjoy your life. 
No, no, no. I mean, it's like, yeah, there's, I mean, you talk about smart. It's such a weird thing to, to measure. It's ephemeral. You know what I mean? So it doesn't. Whoa. It's, I'm sorry. Effeminate? <laughs> you call me effeminate, bro? <laughs> I ain't no fag, dude. <laughs> Get a thesaurus in here. Well, it's like, uh, it's kind of like that. Uh, Mike knows the word thesaurus. That was pretty uh, good. He yeah. thinks it's a dinosaur. Yeah, it's <laughs> 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 a dinosaur joke. <laughs> uh, but I feel like in New York, I'm, I'm. Wiped all day, so busy, so busy, and then yeah. I get on the road. I'm like, shit, I got nothing to do. I'm yeah. just sitting in Cincinnati. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I'm also well, you not work motivated. Than all of us. I'm not motivated to write on the road. Like, I'm no, never, like it's when tough. I'm in a hotel room, for some reason, I cannot sit down and work on anything. You got to do that hotel whacking. Yeah, yeah. A lot of yeah. whacking. <laughs> so a lot of whack. Oh my god, <laughs> so much the whacking. The amount that you know, I jerk off in <laughs> hotel rooms. You know hotel what's the, the best is. is when they they give you a room with two beds by accident, and then you just have a jerk off bed. You jack off on the spare bed. That is awesome. Adrian yes. Appalucci has a joke about that, but eating. She says the eating bed. Oh, she eat? oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's her. That's her jacking off in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah. <that's> her. <laughs> um, it's still glazed. You feel, like a, you feel like a king or something. I just started to try a rule because I had a sharp shooting pain in my dick, and Was I did some. Gone? Yeah, it went gone. Oh, good. It went gone. <laughs> I guess I'm number five. Yeah, you're on the bottom. It went gone. Um, but I, I was doing a uh, a little research on the shooting pain in my dick. And it happens for people that use tubes to extend their dick. Like, they, you know those... Are you doing that? Dick extend... No, but I do jerk off raw, so I'm just tugging on my dick. I go it's raw dry, crazy dry rub, you mean. It's crazy. Yeah, dry rub. So you're just pulling, and you're like, there's tendons and veins in there, so I'm just jerking on, like, tendons and... You're literally and... pulling? You should be, like, lightly stroking, man. Have you... No, no, I like to rip that shit. <laughs> I grip it and rip it. I got a lot of free time. Joe's, Joe's never made a woman wet. What do you mean? So that's the most... What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, have any of us? Um, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Your pussy, a, a pussy gets wet. I thought you were talking about wet. jerking off. Where, where's the pussy come in? Yeah. yeah. Lauren's wet right now. Like, I'm really so happy man. there's no Lauren's women here. here. Scobo, yeah. Scobo, Lauren's a woman. <laughs> I, I hosted okay. the show last week, and Scobo was like, we got to have a chick. We got to have a chick. And it's like you got Lauren. Like why on why can't we do? Why do we need to have some fucking equality movement? It's ridiculous. Hello, boys. It's me, <laughs> Kelly Pastuka. Oh, <laughs> you had to put the name in so we knew what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing Jack the Ripper. Who that was? <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> Mary Poppins. It's like, like when there's a commercial sweet. with like a low-level celebrity that has to say, "Fucking, this is uh, Rich Voss." I'm Tom Bosley. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't even introduce everybody. I should have introduced. You're a terrible oh, host. Yeah. This is why they said there's gonna be a coup. Dude, because this is. I've done such a spectacular hosting. It's gonna job. be a high coup. Everyone is <laughs> evenly spoken. Can you spell coup? We ranked it all. This is all free form. C O U P E. That's a that's a car. That's a coup. <laughs> <laughs> it's a coup. I love that car. Um, anyway, not a coup. How do you spell coup? Take the C-O-U-P, E off. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh, I thought Spark there was an X in there. I thought there was an X. All right, hold on. Spelling yeah, is only one aspect of how smart you are. Introduce everybody. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't say you weren't smart. I think that Lewis might be a smarter guy. Mm. Thanks. Let's do a contest. Probably how do you figure a this out? Better hustler. I'm a hustler, baby. No, that's un- you question- hustle I'm, I'm unquestionably a better hustler. Than yeah. Mark? Yeah. What do you mean? Hustle like trick um, people or he, hustle like he's jogging? He works really hard. He starts. I could never start a podcast network. I don't want to. Yeah. But I could never like figure. I don't want to figure that shit out. I couldn't do it. But you're doing nine no, you spots a hard, night. You work hard in a different way. But we right, would all right. do nine spots a night. What do you mean? We would all do that. Yep. If we could. Like, if I got booked on nine spots what, a night, what do you I mean? would do them. He every night. worked to get to that. No, spot. but that's not, you're, that's, not, that's not the hard work. The hard work is that he became a great comedian. People wanted to put him on that much. So, I'm just saying, like, no, I, 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 you I can't choose define... not to do. I don't want to do more than two spots. Okay, well, you're uh-huh. a lazy fucking Jew. I'm not lazy. I Nor choose to. You're also not, I'm not working as hard. <laughs> I think I, I cap out at two spots a night, though, too. I think after that, it's kind of like. Yeah, so he's working on the harder. weekends. What? You uh, know the weekends? Well, honestly, like you're saying, man, if they would book me, I would be doing all the spots. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, that's. But what... but I did notice. But that's for money, and really, I feel like I get the work done. Maybe two. You're right. I agree with that. Three spots as much, and then then it's the, then I'm like, uh, I don't know. It's just I, I start hating stand up, and it's it's bad. Oh really? And, I don't yeah. have that. I yeah. enjoy it. Would you write on stage? I do all the time. I don't write on stage as much. I'm starting to do more now, and I think that's what. If you write on stage, then it's like the more stage time, the better. How could you mm-hmm. ever get bored? What do you mean by write on stage? Well, I, c- I write off. He sits stage. there and just writes <laughs> poems, <laughs> whatever <laughs> it is. It's bad will. for the crowd, but it's good for me. <laughs> I, know, I enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> it's just Mark silently sitting there. <laughs> I have a, a feather quill. <laughs> 
He's not even writing jokes. He's writing that. letters to his girlfriend. Have a candle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't heckle me. I'm writing. <laughs> I think there's people in Brooklyn that do that, and then there's other people in the back, and like, he's great. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I think there is people like that. That's funny. That's Louis Katz over there. Say hi so they know your dumb uh, voice there, your Jew. Smart voice. Very smart voice. You <laughs> yeah. shut your fucking face. That's Louis too. Katz. What have you done? You've been on... Uh, Half hour? You did a half hour? Yeah. Evening, and you did uh, Fallon way back? Fallon, half hour, HBO, other things. I like making people list their own credits. It's fun. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. Brag a little. Yeah. yeah. Louis Katz over there. And then we have Mike Racine who just did his second Conan. Woo! With the Thanks. red jacket, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was hot. Thanks. Hell of a Conan. Do you feel good about it? Yeah, I feel good. Good. A couple applause breaks. Yeah. I read the YouTube comments, though. Ah, uh, you can't. Uh, don't read I the YouTube the same comments. What did they say? You know, it's just like. Well, what's this, like the common one? Like, what's the like, everyone like? Just, yeah, faggot. This guy's oh, the fifth faggot. dumbest guy in the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any ear comments? No, but I no did ears. For the first one, for the first is that one a I jab did, at me? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> That's all I get is who's no, this fag I... with the earlobes? Yeah, but these no, earlobes. I mean... What's with your earlobes? Mine, mine are connected. Yeah, oh. he's, he's, got, he's got alien ears. Oh my god, you got yeah. Paltro ears. But these ears, look at these. Oh, they come out. Yeah, you got some wings. Looks like there's stuff hanging from the top of them. He's <laughs> just bats. <laughs> well, it was a great Conan. The first one was amazing. Second one was was uh, also a, it was good. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, <boy>. uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. It was great. Jeez, Lewis. What's up, bro? Let them know. Let them know who you are, dog. Uh, you might have seen. You, you might have heard me on my radio show, The Countdown, on Sirius XM Rush 93. You might have seen me for nine seconds on NBC's Last Comic Standing. Oh yeah. Uh, you might have uh, if you lived in like. Uh, four or five different regions in this country. You might have caught my set on Axis TV's Gotham Comedy Live. People watch that. I think uh, more people watch that than watch, like, Corden. I'm not done, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Maybe, not. Maybe this past season of Comedy Knockout, you would have seen Ooh. me. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> or Black and White on A&E. But let's be honest. These people, they know you. Yeah. yeah, they know, know what's going on here. Or maybe, possibly, you've seen my other podcast, the Legion of Skanks podcast on the Gas Digital Network. Yeah, let's not... Uh, Talk about how popular that pod is. It's very popular. <laughs> I think we've exceeded the popularity of YKWD. Oh, yeah. A lot oh, of speaking of exceeding of that, right? the popularity of this podcast, to your left is Mark Norman. <laughs> hey, hey. Tuesdays with Stories. Uh, you might have heard me on Conan as well. Colbert. I don't know. How many Conans have you done? Big four. Isn't that crazy? Oh, you've spent good. 20 minutes on Conan. Wow, that's true. That's yeah, pretty that's wild. Cool. never thought about that. I was thinking about that with, uh, what's his toes? Jake Johansson did five albums Worth of Letterman sets. How wow. many is that? Wow. He did 45 sets. 45. Wow. Yeah. So he's done five albums worth of late nights. And That's nobody crazy. knows who he is. Yeah. No. Is that a bummer? It but is a bunch him. of people know who he is. But uh, not. Deepu? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about again? There you go. <laughs> and then Lauren's over there. And then what, what's your name again? Sorry. Uh, Dave Neal. How are you? Oh, I didn't realize they gave you a mic. Dave Sorry. Yeah. I would have brought you into this. Yeah. He's the lead singer of Megadeth. <laughs> That's Dave Mustaine. Yeah. Ooh. I'm uh, visiting from good Los Angeles. Good metal knowledge. Thanks, Let thanks, Lewis. I know a lot. Uh, f- staying at Doug Key's house. I know you guys know. know you oh, know. Doug, Doug Key. Ah. I got to talk to Doug Key. I got to trick rapist. me over here. What? No. <laughs> Don't say that. What is That's that? Doug Funny. <laughs> Why did you say that? I'm kidding. Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't know. Well, maybe there's an accusation. Can't spread this shit. We'll get Allison Klemp in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say date rape three times. And so, Dave, you're visiting? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? You're visiting? <laughs> yeah. He, uh, what an, what an awesome old... way to date rape a chick. If you just say it three times, she appears and you get to date rape her. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Neil? Ellen DeGeneres, Ellen DeGeneres, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> I got a crush. Yeah. You like Doug her? Doug took my old uh, apartment when I lived here. So I, I go back and stay with him. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, I, I used to do stand-up here, but I'm a couple years younger in the scene than you guys. Oh, cool. Big fan of Tuesdays of Stories, Legion of Skanks. Oh, yeah. fuck it, yeah. dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I was about to call you gay. <laughs> 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 Thank you for saying well, you that. Well, Louis, you, you had got, gotten a big beef on my comment thread a few weeks ago with Ooh. a chick. What chick? What happened uh, on your thread? Some girl who said, like, comics should have to pay to submit to comedy festivals. Oh, yeah. I started arguing with this fucking bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you showed her. Yeah. Really <laughs> no, somebody tagged me on it. I tagged you into it. Oh, you were the one I, who tagged I knew me into it. You were gonna like speak for comedy. You really did. I like just you were working the 9/11 thread too. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking it's I a really lot of range. for no yeah. reason. <laughs> By the way, I'm talking about how hard I work. I'm doing nothing but just arguing with people on Facebook all day. That seems most yeah. comics. You read Facebook, yeah, it's just angry. It's comics. just way too much. Yeah, but that's the thing. I'm watching movies well, while other people easy. are fucking commenting on don't shit. Don't you think it's maybe 
I mean, I feel like I should do more on Facebook. Like, man, no. some people seem like they're really funny, and it's like they're always there, and then other people think they're funny. And then it's such an insular world. It's though. too it's insular. Not really whoa, whoa, yeah. Tweet, whoa, whoa, tweeting is better, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think. Insular? Yeah. Yeah. He right. might have so just second place. A, maybe he passed. Like a but the key to your sentence was moron. What? You said I should do more on Facebook. Yeah. Mm. That's uh, the key. Uh, moron. Oh, where's the bomb, Dana? Oh, <laughs> it's right here. Joe, you got it. <laughs> He's got it already. Tie it a little tighter. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I think since Kurt Metzger has been missing in action, I've really taken the places of the best on Facebook. Oh, yeah? What about Nick Mull? Yeah, Nick He's Mullen. okay. He's good. You know, it's kind of funny. I, like I think the, he's overrated, to be honest, on Facebook. I like Micah and Janelle. They're pretty funny. Micah's funny. funny. Who's You're Micah? Really Micah Fox. Yeah. yeah oh, she's Fox, funny. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, all right. I don't know. I think, I think I'm better than all these people, I waste by my the time. But my thing is, I'm reading all of it. I'm just not contributing. I'm reading a lot Tim of it. Tim Dillon, also, time. Tim Dillon. Oh, Tim Dillon. He, yeah, he, my he, he, he jumped the shark. I used to think he was great. It's just too oh, much. Oh, too far, you Yeah, think? too much. Mm. <laughs> it's too much Tim Dillon. We get it, Tim. Everyone's poor. Right. I just think it's hard. Like, are people coming to see you because your Facebook comments? I mean, no, wait, wait, how no, valuable no, no, no. is this time on but Facebook? But it's a connection with your fans. They feel like they is can it? comment. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it is, yes. But, but you cap out at 5,000 friends. Exactly. That's so why Twitter's like, better. Really gonna, yeah. And half of them are comics. And I, but I post yeah. the same shit on Twitter. I, I just think it's Snapchat, right. guys. I think that's, that's what That's the thing, but we're all too old for that. Cool. I like Instagram. But here's the thing. Like, how connected do you need to be to your fans? I put out a podcast, and I do stand-up. I don't want to be chatting with fans. No offense to them. You want to go the bare minimum. I get it. You're the guy who comes in. You you check in exactly when you're supposed to check in. You check out exactly when you're supposed to check out. Or, I think no, that we... Or, or maybe he's more about, like, doing the art that we're supposed to I'm focus on. I'm a fucking on, artist. So all the bullshit. Oh, yeah, but I think Louis, times have changed. guess what? Now you're not as smart as Mike Racine. And I'm uh, number two. I'm just saying... I don't know. I thought no, that was good. I agree that you need to do all... I, I'm, you do have to do all this stuff. But I'm saying I get why you don't want to, and I don't think that's clocking out. I think it's like, but man, you it's think like you're focused on what you should. But really, we should all be focused on. To be successful, you have to comment back and forth with fans and respond. I mean, here's a little uh, guy. Maybe yeah. you heard of no Twitter, no Facebook, no Instagram. Maybe you heard his name before. Louis C.K. Ever hear of him? <laughs> you can't. Yeah, but you're naming you the biggest comic ever. You can't ever. count people from exactly. that. Exactly. You different... can't count people that got famous in another era. Another it's a era, different yeah. time now. And and mm. and you how you you got to put still famous. You got to build what? a following. He stays famous. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but he's got he a built, TV show also. Let's oh, not he broke that. Building a following the, the TV show. He yeah. broke through with old media. And most of those most of those people you're talking about broke through with old media. They did that. But so, if I have a, if you get a TV show, are you you're not going to be on Facebook writing bullshit? Well, the thing is nowadays people have TV <laughs> shows and no one even knows who the fuck they are, or what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, nobody gives a shit. Like, also, like, but it has to be a big fucking hit to make an impact. It drives me out of my mind when I see somebody that has two thousand Twitter followers and they're verified. It makes me want to punch my screen. People get mad about verify. You gotta go to therapy for a day. You gotta no, get over the verify. No, that should no. not have any effect I, by on your way, life. It doesn't make me mad that I'm not verified because I don't have that many Twitter followers. It just makes me furious when I see somebody who, who has two thousand. It makes a know, check mark. You don't have two thousand. You got seven. Podcasts? No, I got fifteen thousand. All right, good. All right, yeah, yeah. But I'm doing okay. Mark and I, I, I don't comment back and forth on Facebook. Occasionally, I'll say a show. I don't do any Facebook. We just get recognized in the street. Yeah, baby. All the t That's everywhere right. I go, we got people yeah. coming out. I'm not Facebooking people. Yeah. I got a podcast. They can hear me for an hour on there. They can hear me right now. Yeah, maybe all the Social media stuff is just like a, a substitute for, for doing the work. Well, there's a lot well, of that for sure. There's yes, a lot of that. Yeah, no, I agree. When, when I think there's a lot of people who get better and better at stand-up. People legit get that's jobs do, off right? of there. They, that's they true. Get jobs Some do. They're media. called that's, women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an insane way to hire somebody <laughs> or to get a job. I yeah. Bet. <laughs> but, yeah, that's that's crazy to me. But um, I don't want those jobs. I'm not looking to get those jobs. I think you're just doing it a different way. Not everybody has an album. Not everybody you know. Not everybody sells their album on the road. Not everybody has a T-shirt. People do different things so i don't think there's one wrong way or one right way but, but I, I, i'm right. saying a better way is to do your podcast work on the stand-up yeah, but I think and as opposed up, to going oh, hey oh, oh, this. i feel like yeah. working on stand-up that's getting up in the morning and brushing your teeth no shit you Thank have to you. do that we're not going to pat ourselves on the back for doing fucking spots we're supposed to do spots every night we're supposed to be writing jokes every night Bare minimum. So it's the extra shit that you do that I think is going to make up the difference between you making a lot of money or being very successful in this business or not. You, Joe, you're an exceptional comedian. Thank but it's you. Still, on, it took you 17 years to get where you're at right now and 16. to have the recognition that you have. <laughs> this guy. But I'm saying there are guys that are coming up in a digital age and they're taking advantage of the tools that they have available to them that are also funny. But here's also, my thing. Here's my thing. Some of these people, I'm not naming names or anybody, but some of these people, maybe they're working on, they're building their thing with Facebook comments and, and, and posts and, and trolling or whatever, and then they got the fan base. Now they have a fan base. I want to go see that guy. What's he going to do? Type statuses? 
He's got to do an hour well, now. Well, yeah, some people he's going to fall on his face. Some those people are also legit comedians, and some of them aren't. And you yeah. know, who and they I are. love when that comes through. I love yeah. when they, these podcast people who are great, and then they go on stage, and you're like, Ooh. yeah, they're terrible. Yeah. Well, look Ugh. at Bob Kelly. Bob Kelly's a great example of a great comedian who does, who's ahead of the curve on every um, type of media and every type of every. He was doing podcasting before everybody. He was doing the video podcasting before everybody. Website application. All the social media things that everyone does, he's he has before everybody else, but he's still a solid comic. Right. You know? Yeah, also, I just I'm just questioning how valuable use of time getting in Facebook wars well, is. That's all bullshit. That's no, that's not gets valuable. raped and they go all yeah. they go all over the place. Fuck that. But also, yeah. you're not <laughs> a joke. You're people not got, people how. got raped in the nineties. It was fine. <laughs> 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 you didn't all need to Some of us are here from a rape. My mom was raped. <laughs> right. Uh, you, shit. What you're not counting is that your podcast is a form what? of social media. Yeah, it so is. You, that's Ooh, your that's your hello. contribution. Man, to that. this guy. Right. Well, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not against <laughs> social media. I mean, I'm, I'm on social you, media. You, I'm, I'm, not, saying, I'm saying. I'm talking about Facebook. Fucking the Facebook posting. But, but I'm just saying that's your. That's how you're doing the outreach. So you're doing the thing. You're like, right. is it really necessary? Can't you just concentrate on your act? Well, you are doing that, and you're also. You're also yeah. transmitting something to your fans on a regular basis. But I think what I'm taking issue is we are like can't stand connected with the fans. I'm like I'm putting out a show. The show and is here's a, our Joe, content. Here's the thing: I have a different yeah. connection with my fans because I'll fucking actually have a conversation with them on you these actually, things. You'll actually make them don't. drive you to gigs and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I do. By the way, that's just a different form of fucking <laughs> intern marketing. No, I no, I know. but that's not even career. <laughs> that's not even career wise. That's personality wise. No, you're, you're right. You're a fun right. guy who's like, like, come pick me up. It'll be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Bobby hilarious. does that too. Bobby goes fishing with people. Dude, I, I try. I try to really? pitch that to Comedy He's Central. Fans? He goes fly yeah. fishing with a fan. I try to pitch that to Comedy Central, and I had a guy. Drive me. Uh, I had a guy drive me, and we did it on Periscope. And I just tweeted, I was like, "Hey, I gotta be picked up here. Drop me off here." And we just talk shit. We smoke a blunt in the car, and then they drive me. So I had the guy waiting in the the lobby for Comedy Central. My management was like, "Oh, dude, it'll be great. Have him wait for you." And I pitched this to them. <laughs> dude, they looked at me like they couldn't have been any more scared for the building security. That's not <laughs> a bad you, idea. You I like just, that. I think it was a great uh, idea yeah, too. Yeah, you could web series that. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I don't know that, but that's the thing. It's just utilizing these different tools in different ways. You're just doing, you're just doing it your way. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I'm yeah, just talking I don't think, about. I don't think you can't you can't hate on somebody that's. I'm not, but putting I'm all not this hating effort, on it. I'm having a discussion about it. But putting all this effort into making like Instagram videos and your story and stuff, I don't know. That just seems like the biggest waste of time. I, 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 I don't know. I have I have I a theory know. that if I just dropped literally everything else, stand up, writing the scripts, all that shit, and just focus on social media. For like a year, I just want to know what would happen. I think something would happen. I think I would make money somehow. I think you'd just kind of fall off the earth. <laughs> but eventually, <laughs> think so? I think I think so? you would. Yeah, I mean, the stand-up is your thing. I don't understand how like people like Mike Lawrence has a a, a show on Snapchat, like a ten-second show, and I'm like, how what? That's like a thing. Somebody's just paying you to do a show That's for a huge. minute or whatever. That's huge. It's crazy to me. Lawrence yeah. does all the things. He's posting on Facebook yeah, all the yeah. time. He'll get into it. He's tweeting all the time. He's working the thing. Yeah, but, but you tweet Instagram. ten times a day every day. I do three jokes a day. That's like a thing I do. Really? Right. Yeah. yeah. Just for, kind of for fun and you, just to keep you fresh. Do you build do you, up every day? Do you get new followers? Probably? All the time. All really? the time. I think it pays off. If I don't tweet, you're like, hey, where's that tweet? Really? Yeah. yeah, so it, it helps. Yeah, so I, I agree. don't think. And like Michelle Wolf did that. She was tweeting all day and all night for. Yeah, Myers. I mean it's amazing and I'm quality not. stuff too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not poo pooing like, uh, what anyone's doing. Get, I'm just having a discussion. I about get it. paid to out. live tweet the UFC events for Sirius XM. Oh, there you if, go. If Michelle could find like a robot to eat her pussy, she'd be like unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> I think I only half get it. I don't but, know what that means. I don't know <laughs> either, but I love like, it. It's funny. Yeah, it's like she doesn't date or anything. So oh, she's oh, working. Oh, component. Oh, yeah, oh, I see. Now she's a hard worker. She's working incredibly hard. All day. Harder than all of us. All of us. She's a monster. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But you two are like that. Huh? You two are like that, are you not? Yeah. I, I mean, like you have to raise a kid. Dude. I'm working nonstop from when my eyes open to when my eyes close. Like, yeah, if I focus, like I'm trying to get a new apartment right now, and if I focus any time on that, I feel guilty and I feel nervous. I get anxiety because I'm not working on stand-up wow. or comedy. But to me, the what's, uh, personally, I'm not saying you. I'm not trying to sway you or say I'm better than you or I'm doing it better. I'm just saying what's the point of being a, a comic Listen, if you're not taking stop. advantage of all the free time and enjoying yourself, living I, life. That's a good question, but I think it'll pay off later. Like, work mm -hmm. hard now, enjoy later. Well, when are you going to so enjoy, no, though? We when have no money. Time? Well, yeah. I go on the road. I'm, I'm, to enjoy I'm in Cleveland. I had a blast in Cleveland. I went to restaurants all yeah, day. I went there's to so much right. downtime on the road that, like, I feel guilty about the downtime. Yeah. I feel like if I'm, when I'm on the road. On the road, it's different. And I, yeah. But I, we go on the road enough. I mean, I'm, road, at least yeah. once a month. Uh, you, you guys go on the road a shit ton. But I'm, like, on the road probably once a month, at least at least a one night or once a month. 
Um, so I get a lot of downtime there. And then, I mean, I don't know. I've always, since, I've worked since I was 11 years old, literally. I've had a job always, continuously since yeah. I was 11 years old. You're I've a never real Latino. Not, yeah, I've never not worked. I've, I was buying my school clothes from, when, from the time I was 12 on. Like I was every, mm. I, I stopped, uh, you know, my mom stopped like supporting me in that um, part of my life when I was very young. So I've just always had it in me to be industrious and like time is money. So every time that I'm not working, I feel like, holy shit, I could be doing something yeah. that could possibly turn into something bigger and, and more money. Right. For me personally, if I work too much, I get burned out and I'm not funny anymore. I'm yeah. just staring at a sheet of paper going, ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Really? I got to turn it off and go try to get laid and go on a date. Go and be a person. I'm also trying to be, and I'm not saying you guys are, I'm trying to be a good husband and son. I want to go see my family. I want to go hang out with these people. Yeah. I want to be a good citizen. I think no. you're more balanced than us. All that's true. All that's true. It's smart. And you remember I was saying, like, that's your social media thing as a podcast. The cool thing about that is it's limited. The time that you spend on it is whenever the time you, you, you right. record it and then you're out. Well, the other great mean? thing about that and this is we're hanging out right now. This is also social time. We're getting yeah. to know each other. Well, we're exchanging thoughts and ideas. Well, that's also, you say, why do you do this? Why would you choose a comedian if you're not going to take advantage of all the free time? That's what you just named right there. Our job is fucking awesome. Our whole social lives are built into our right. job. We're constantly yeah. around our friends. Like, I, a night out, if I was going on a, a date with a chick, it was like, I would rather sit in, ha order uh. in some food, watch a fucking movie, you know, do what we do. Going out, I do that every single night of my life already. Yeah. So when you ask why you do this, it's like, no, it's, it's awesome. Like, you're right. Everything that we do is kind of awesome. Even when you're writing a script, which is kind of, it's a lot of work, or if you, you're submitting a writing packet, you get that gratification of finishing it and being like being proud of something. It's like literally that's the artistic get, side of it. And then I don't no know one reads the, it. Yeah, the packet yeah. thing. I don't get that anymore. A script Fuck is one the thing. Packets. Uh, packets. I'm done yeah. with I the packets. I don't really. I've only really? submitted yeah. two packets in oh, my life. Packets. Unless you know, at least <laughs> Colin Jost or somebody could help you out. Yeah. But, uh, other than that, it's fucking waste time. But my uh, like, I've dated girls and they're like, "Oh, I'm so jealous of you. You have all this free time. You're just fucking around all day." And I'm like, "You do way less work than me. These yeah. girls just sitting on a fucking computer Facebooking." Yeah. Nine to five. Right. It's insane. Um, they shop and shit. Two things. One thing, I just feel like sometimes it's, we get too inside baseball. A packet, these shows, uh -huh. there'll be a show will develop, and then they will need writers, so they have all the managers and agents have their clients submit some sort of writing yeah. submission. Yes. Or a show that's already reads those, huh? And I roll it up and I beat my kid with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and secondly, I think I've read multiple articles that say, for what it's worth, I mean, we just, it's kind of counter what we just discussed, but most people's regrets at the end of their lives, elderly people, their regret is working too much and not enjoying their, their lives family. and spending time. But with what if you like to work? Yeah. That's um, it. I mean, that, that's I it. I enjoy working. I yeah. enjoy my job. I enjoy And this is why work. you're not in a relationship. Probably. Yeah. It's a relationship is, yeah, it's, they suck. <laughs> but you're also, you're one of the few people I've met that works harder than anyone I know and is enjoying life I'm more than anyone I know. Life. It's a rare, you're a rare human being. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> well, you're special, buddy. Yeah, but you're also talking about guy, like guys. Let's not. I know it's we're, we're in. It's we're too like in the game. Like you guys are doing particularly well. You mm. know what I'm saying, Mark? You're fucking killing it for comics. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like thanks. you're like you're like most comics. Yeah, there's like eight comics doing better than you. Are fighting? What? Well, no, most most comics are fighting yeah, a much more. different fight. Um, <laughs> I feel bad talking about this with Louie here. This feels unfair. <laughs> but you, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, obviously Mark's enjoying life. He's killing it. That's not true. That's not comic, true, though. There's a, a lot of miserable people. Better than Mark. No, uh, well, first of all, that's not true. There's a lot of miserable people. Richard Jenny was making tons of money. He killed himself. True, I mean, true. Giraldo. I mean, Greg Giraldo was killing it. He killed well, himself. Just because just you're successful doesn't mean you're happy also, and enjoying life. That's the problem life. with, with stand-ups is ever since, it's like Eddie Murphy set the bar. And Steve Martin, you know what I mean? It's like, and it's for a lot of comics, I feel like it's like if they're not reaching that, they feel like they haven't done what they want to do. And I, think I don't want that at all. I want Segura's right. career, somebody like that. Yeah, you know? yeah that's I'm a great career. It's, it's not fair to say, of course he's happy he's doing well. I mean, that's, there's people wanna, that are doing better that are less happy. I want a half a million a year just doing just doing what I want to do, talking in a microphone. That's totally attainable. Yeah. That's what I, no, I think so. I know, like, yeah, I mean, I'll, I, I, wouldn't do, I wouldn't do this if that wasn't attainable. Right, right. I would go do something else that is, is less stressful and is like I just I'm working on stuff I just so want I can golden mark. pasta forks <laughs> right that's all <laughs> see I don't enjoy I don't enjoy working I, en uh, I enjoy being on stage and having a new bit that's what motivates yeah. me yeah. I like the I feeling of a that. new bit love I don't that. like sitting there going Ugh! Oh, I gotta think of a new joke that part's miserable yeah, yeah the Would new you... bit then the girl in the crowd you're like I'm gonna fuck this chick and then you go out it's fun that's yeah. the best yeah. part yeah. it's fun <laughs> Sorry, <All right. laughs> we figured it out. I think. Well, how many how many new bits do you do at one time? Because I did a set last night of all new, and I did okay, but uh -huh. I had 
maybe too much new. In I'm there. worried we're getting too into comedy. Right. We got to keep it somewhat. Yeah, that was a main complaint in the chat room. Uh, Shut the fuck up, hey, Deepu. Suck my oh, dick. Let's yeah. hear over the chat room, Deepu. What did they say? Oh, uh, sure. One second. Why is uh, it frozen on me looking down? They're like, That's a pause playback thing. Oh, okay. They're like, <laughs> they're like talk more about working at Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't relate to this shit. <laughs> Come on. I'm working a double day. <laughs> I just spit in a roast beef. Talk yeah. about that. By the way, in reply to that guy, can Mike get a job in there, maybe? <laughs> I'd love Are one. They hiring? Um, um, so Whitey McManus says, clocking out of this podcast. Ooh. Oh, All right, yeah, so beat it. Yeah, I don't get rid of him. So I fucking fuck beat it. We got a lot of people watching, by the way. Uh, Sid Sybil says, love list, but he's not attractive. That's well, true. This is all stuff we know. <laughs> let me guess. Let me guess. Dude, talk about Anthony calling into Opie's show. There's some of that, yeah. too. I'm yeah, not of reading course. That. Give, yeah, us, of give course. us some other ones. Animals. Uh, this is a good combo. Chief Teat uh, asks. Can you do it in an Indian accent? Chief Teat says. Wait, no. Uh, <laughs> you just got hired for something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, they Chief Teat? We Chief don't need their names. Just I read the fucking comments. Read what does Chief Teat say? I like Chief Teat. The fans like the names because they know they're commendable. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Here's the audience, YouTube. Yeah. This is what go, I'm talking go, about. Go. Fuck the audience. <laughs> Just give them a show. They get it or they don't like it. Right. Okay, Chief Teat has a question for the uh, everyone here. What would you guys do if you guys robbed Kim Kardashian? Ooh. I'd rape her. Uh. Next question. <laughs> 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 Not really. Yeah, yeah they, they forgot to rape her. Uh, yeah, I don't think she was there for that. Anyway, uh, Raymond Towers says, did Lewis just say he's on the road once a month? Eek. That's a lie. It's less. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what his eek was. Yeah, was it, uh, was it like, a little? I think he Very was like saying, like, oh, yeah, it's not much. Yeah. He's busy. <laughs> yeah, these stink. I, I don't understand They're this. All that's not even a fucking, week. that's not even yeah. a, a, I think that's not even a bad amount. Once a, a month is decent. decent amount of road. Here's yeah. the problem, and I don't want to anger no, fans or whatever, but like, this is also, it's a weird thing to just, these people have input now. Like before, yeah. in the old days, your art would be, you put this it is out. the difference, and then you perform, like We're you go, reaching yeah, out to the fans yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. You don't want to reach out to the fans. Have to talk I to want to <laughs> create and put out a thing, and then they like but it or they don't like it. The, here's the thing. This is, a different, this is a different color in the palette, which is being able to <laughs> interweave. No more colors. <laughs> I wish I didn't say you were number well, two because nice. I feel like you're trying to prove it to everybody. <laughs> it's nice hearing from listeners, but you can't validate every single thing. No, I'm not validating thing. that fucking no. idiot's comment. Well, but you know what's kind of weird is that stand-up does is inherently taking their comments. Like True. they either laugh True. at it or they don't. It's so yeah. feedback and based. It's, that's it's, why yeah. it's enough. You yeah, laugh or you right. don't laugh. Yeah, yeah, you're To right. go, and uh, your forehead's a little big. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 but what do you think about what I just said? You know, but what are you going to do? But I also All blame right. Deepu for that. Well, what else can we talk about? What Let's talk you? about your relationship. You want to talk about your relationship a little bit? Oh, boy. We don't have to. You said a little bit. I guess maybe a little bit. Well, well say what you want to say, on? and then we'll all What uh, happened with your relationship, interject. dude? Well, I, we broke up for like a day, and I hooked up with somebody. And she, oh, she found oh. out about it. Whoa. You should not bring this up, buddy. Boy. How <laughs> sh <laughs> now, <laughs> shut up, Mark. All right. I've just been in these shoes. Mark, it's fine. <laughs> don't look. Yeah, but you don't look at Mark. Look at good Mark's doing. Well, he, he's in a relation. He's happy in it. But she knows already. She knows already. Uh, How, hold on. How did she find out that you hooked up with another uh, chick? Somebody else I told uh, ratted on me. Oh, no. Talk to the a chick or a dude? A chick. A chick. Hold on. All right. First of all, yeah, eat your mic. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. If you want to, if you this, were ready to talk uh, about this, let's listen, talk everyone, about this. Listen, everyone, everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. stop <laughs> giving him an out. <laughs> Shut the what? fuck up. Cheated? I no, like, no, no, but, uh, no, 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 no. I need to hear this. We've all done what? Had it out on this the show. You gotta. You oh yeah, okay. oh, we've I all see. done it. Yeah. That was, you're on our side. Good. So you have not yeah. cheated. No, but you know, I've right. gone through a breakup. No, on he the didn't show, cheat. Talk about it. He didn't fucking cheat. Okay. He yeah. Well, the up thing was, he didn't. That was that was very soon to hook up with somebody. Yes. But she she got mad at me. She blocked me on Facebook. My, blocked my number. Blocked me on Twitter. Damn. You're a girl. We you email. Yeah, my, my girlfriend. We were emailing. And very she was irrational. Like, she was like, "I'm gonna go out. I'm I'm gonna fuck a bunch of guys." Oh, and she said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. 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 You're so justified. Yeah, she gave you an so out. You are like, so justified. Golden ticket. Okay, so I'm kind of like, <laughs> but, then, but now she's <laughs> she was trying to be like, I didn't mean that. So uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. she's one of these Staten Island. No, these uh, bitches are crazy. They're all dumb, dumb. I don't know a fucking bitch who isn't crazy. Nah, bitches mm -hmm. all be crazy. Mm -hmm. They no, are crazy. I'm I'm waiting to find the chick. Who isn't fucking nuts? What do you mean? That's, I don't really think that's, crazy. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. No, it's not. Crazy. Uh, my mother, my girlfriend. She's I mean, I know lots of women that aren't crazy. <laughs> yeah, all right, well, you well, know crazy them all. How? You know all the people. Well, what crazy? qualifies as crazy? Crazy attracts crazy, I guess, right? 
Yeah, I think any girl that's dating you is crazy. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Why, this is why I want to be a black man. They just know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's easy for them out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they've had a maid in the shade for too long, these, these black men. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so wait, because we had this conversation before, so I don't want to repeat too much. But you've told me you've been hit by 100% of the women you've ever been in a relationship. <laughs> really? 100%. 100% and I've of been the girls hit. that I've ever dated have hit me at one point in a relationship. I I I've been hit two. by yes. yeah, yeah. 0%. So you two no, fucking monkeys. I think monkeys. I'm like 60 or 80. 60 or 80? I'm on a zero with you. You're a yeah, zero percent. Yeah, but you got... Look, right, look we have glasses. You, I know. You can't get those glasses. Look at your fucking faces. I mean, you are... Yeah, it's not brown. You're nerdy. <laughs> you're nerdy yeah. fucking guys. You're not alpha dogs with yeah. a Z. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you guys, and I, I, if you asked me, did they ever get to the point where a girl had to hit them, I'd be like, probably not. Yeah, you guys get sued. You got sued face. Yeah. I got not get hit by women. Like, what the fuck? I don't have to defend this. Yeah, you I have. Hit yeah, women don't want to hit me. My, You've been my hit by women? Little, yeah, I've been of hit. Of course. Here's the thing. But wait Look a at all Time the guys on the, at the table who have been hit by women. Right. Time out. Because I bet. We fuck. We fuck, baby. <laughs> Hold on. You guys don't fuck. <laughs> we got Louis swag, baby. <laughs> I fuck. Mark was probably hit when he was 13 by some New Orleans drunk no. cut in heels. No, I got hit like two weeks ago. Yeah, of course. Who, who hit you? What was the story? <laughs> Judy Gold. Oh, yeah, but you're like... <laughs> <laughs> but you also, like, you bite women that you don't even know. That's true. That's yeah, true. like, you're a fucking lunatic. Okay, you're a crazy fine. person, and he's but half hold retarded. On, hold on. If three <laughs> of the five guys at the table have been fucking hit by chicks, Great shut burgers. the Fuck up, Deepu. If uh, three of the five guys at the table have been hit by chicks, but then you're wrong. No, no, but no. we have a, a minority guys here. These are you guys Deepu. are animals. Yeah. You have We're hard animals. drinking, hard ta trash talking. Mark calls women cunts for fun, and <laughs> you're a Puerto Rican, and he's a fucking Guinea maniac from well, Jersey. My, well, my girlfriend will pretend like she's gonna put her finger in my ass. I think that's like psychologically. Well, abusive. then you gotta hit her. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You gotta pretend. Like I know. Yeah, I, we probably are, are just repeating everything. Did you get hit by a chick before? He yes, over. Have, yeah. Okay, four out of six. You been you hit? Yeah. Dave over there. Yeah, you Dave was Dave. Hold on, fucking, hold on. Everyone, one at a time. Dave, did you get hit? Yeah, my girlfriend kneed me in the balls. Five out of seven. What did you do to her? I was trying to block her from walking away from the f conversation. Yeah. What was the conversation? We were fighting. What were you fighting about? She was Cut your hair, mad. faggot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she thinks Scopo's funny. <laughs> no, <laughs> a huge fight. Know. By the way, uh, just uh, uh, Mark Norman hit on my girlfriend last year, which was a big pinnacle moment for me. Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> he didn't, you didn't know. No, no, a big you, Pinocchio moment for you. <laughs> you didn't know that we were dating, but uh, when she told me you hit on her, I was, I was kind of like honored. Oh, nice. well, jeez. So You're welcome. You Is she uh, hot? Yeah, what, yeah, she's real hot. Let me see a picture. How did I do it, by the way? What was my move? Um, you you uh, are <laughs> finger credit card the swiper. <laughs> it was at the uh, Rogue Island Festival, and you were like, uh, "You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen." And then, oh uh, yeah, yeah, the roofie didn't work. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just kidding. She seems like a nice lady. Oh, roofie top comedy. I'll show you her photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, please. I want to remember this. Yeah. One. Have you, Courtney? Uh, Louis, you ever been Shut hit up. close to getting hit? What's the what's the fiercest battle you've ever been in? I mean, I've been in some fierce. You know what? Oh, you've been hit right. by a girl. There now we go. I, but this is crazy. Everybody this but is Joe. Me, this is me literally. All the women I've dated, have I've dated one really crazy girl. She yeah. was homeless and on drugs. Oh, wow. And I was, I was, I was, well, maybe, you know what? She probably didn't hit me because she was so. Uh, Never hit you with a bag of cans? Out. No, no, no. She wasn't that kind of homeless. She was oh. like a, a gutter punk kind of home homeless. Ooh, what about dog? A shove? Holy Moses. Look at this bro. No, I mean, I really, women don't. don't uh... Hold on one second. We got, we got two things going on at once. I wonder I had to hit on her. That's All right. unbelievable. Yeah, Let's get back show. to your gutter punk in a second. Lewis has to uh, look at this girl here. Let's see. She's fucking hot right there. All right. Well, Wait. we're looking at all photos right. on radio here. What? Oh, First of all, why would you show us? There's, look at the, the, the other photos. Here's how hot. Hold on. Oh let me God. say this. This is how hot his chick is, okay? You know how when you, like, go to show your chick to people, you'll swipe through all the photos to find a good one to, like, you know, show off, like, how hot your chick is? Mm -hmm. He swiped one. through to find just a fuck. He downplayed it because there's bikini shots of her that are smoking. It's possible <laughs> he didn't want you to see bikini pics. <laughs> I know. No, I think that <laughs> no, that's was fine. That's what she does. Oh, so. she's, oh she's a bikini person. She's a model. So that's oh, wow. Right. All right. Well, I had to do it. How model. tall are you? Five eleven. Interesting. Wow. You look a lot taller sitting down because I'm six foot one. Oh. Yeah, I would assume you're way taller. Louis, do you still have uh, height issues? List. Do you wish you were taller? Always. Do you wish you were a baller? Yes. You wish you had a girl who looked good. Would you call her? I got one. I call. Wish her. I had a rabbit and a hat and a six four baller. Mostly <laughs> it's the, just the rabbit, <laughs> right? 
Yeah, yeah. she's pretty hot. All right, let's get back How on track. We were cooking. Then you take a photo out. It's all yeah, over. Right, lady yeah, photo yeah. ruins the whole thing. What the fuck are we thing. doing here? I want to hear about. Can I can you talk more about your thing? Or sure. We're going to get back to it, but you're talking about a gutter trash woman that hit you. Oh, well, no. It was like. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing? I was here? like, she was. I don't think. She, oh, she did hit me. She hit me. Here we go. Here we go. I forgot. She hit me in the face. Joe is gay. Joe is gay. But this is like. You're saying all women are crazy. This woman. Is crazy. I mean, she's a junkie who lived on the streets, man. That's yeah. a crazy person. Why'd you date her? What about B? Did she hit Hot, hit? funny. Okay. Hot, funny. Yeah. I can't talk anything about my relationship with B. I'm not allowed to. Uh, all right. Mm. Yep. Yes. She, she said 100%. I'm nope. I mean, sorry. Uh, Mike, did this one, just open But I will say 100% of the women that I've ever dated have hit me. Great. Mike, did uh, this dame hit you when she found out? Um, no. She just when she found it. out. Can we rewind, Joe? I don't mean to coo this uh, interview up. No, you already did by looking at photos on radio. <laughs> All these shows are watching videos on the radio. No, I don't we, get hold it. on. We just spent a moment talking about how hot she was, and we had a, a little funny moment about how he showed us a picture without her bikini. She's in a bikini. We talked about it. It was funny, Joe. It was a moment. I think you're the only one that said it's funny so far, and it happened Guys. in the middle of a gutter punk story. Well, let's move on derailed. from the unfunny moment. I'm trying to. No, I want to no, hear. Joe, Joe wants to live in the moment. He's uh. cooing. <laughs> He's, he said. He said out loud, "I'm going to coo the show right now." <laughs> Sorry, I'm cooing. <laughs> that was horrific. <laughs> Mike, tell us about this dame. Did she hit you? She didn't hit me, but she just got real mad, and she was like, "But she didn't say anything. She was just like shaking." Ooh, oh, shaking is bad. But yeah. you were on a break, especially with a baby. Uh, we were on a break for like a day, it and was, she did. But it was her saying that thing. That's that's what she set fucked it off. up. But did yeah, you did no, you pursue? I, no, it? I agree. Did you pursue it? Was this someone you knew you could hook up with, and then you went after it, or just like you happened to go out that Somebody night? Somebody had already fucked. I had a feeling. Well, you knew. Of course, no, he I had it. I hadn't fucked well, it before. Oh, it, was, it was late at night. I was like, "Hey, come over," you know. And all right, hold on. Pursue. He got right. Pursuing it. Here's what's like evil, though. This girl that I hooked up with invited my girlfriend to her bar and like hung out with her. That's oh. evil. Sick. Evil. Oh. This girl is That's sick. Why. That's so, sick. So she's fucking. So she's That's a crazy uh, bitch. She's got some problems. Pretty hot. That's a it's sick. It's not. It, 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 like it wasn't worth it. She's not but, worth it. Not that hot. But yeah. she's hanging out with my girlfriend for like four hours. Oh, so my girlfriend what? emails me the next day and goes, "Where were you last night? Or, or where were you on Saturday night? Whose house were you at?" Ah. Oh. And uh, she read you. She read you out directly. She didn't rat me out, but she ha my girlfriend had a feeling. Because she's hanging out with this girl. So Who I ratted you out? That's girl. evil Somebody to hang else. out. Man, that's fucking no, evil. I was think it, it was a, the girl. Somebody oh, was it a well, comic? no, but she had a feeling that, it, that you know, it had happened, right? Mm. So Four she's hours hanging to hang out, out with, with her. Are they friends her besides this? Not really. She's, like, asking her questions about me and stuff. And so let me get this straight. And so I, you... I swore up and down that I didn't do it. No. And then about a month later, she found out that Oh, so it wasn't for a month later. I'm surprised we're together. I mean, she's an idiot for taking me back. No, she's a sweetheart that cares about you. Talking about it on this will help. Yeah. <laughs> so let me get the timeline right. So you're dating this girl for a while. This is a serious relationship. You've yeah, traveled and everything. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been dating for? About a year and a half. A year and a half, which so is about a, a long month time. Ago. So a month ago, we broke up for a day. So you break up for a day. The next day, you call a girl that she knows. Sure. Yeah. Is this chick a comic that you called? Sure. Yes. You call. Wow. Can you Boy. tell me? Can you tell me who it is in my ear? No. It's. <laughs> I, but I want them to see my it's, reaction. It's Paula it Poundstone. <laughs> <laughs> so, you call, so you call the girl. I can't. You call the girl. Yeah. And then you end up hooking up. Yeah. You fuck. Yeah. Then the next day, a couple days later, she calls your girlfriend and goes, after. we should hang. Do you, yeah. or do you use a rubber with her? No! I mean, none of us have what a dog. Just kidding. You gotta wow. fix that pause, man. So Don't you pause. <laughs> yes. What the fuck is wrong? You're right, pausing like, yeah. what's his name? We touch the kids. You pause like you were playing Nintendo and had to eat dinner. <laughs> wow. So, so you wore a so condom. That's gross. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Those things are so uncomfortable. What a weirdo. So, okay, so you fucked this chick. So she, I'm so hosting the show, Lewis, and I'm doing a fine job. Right, so Thank you. You're the, quip, last week. you're the quip guy. So that was Saturday night. So Monday, she's bugging me. What did you do on Saturday night? I'm like, nothing. She's like, she calls me. She's like, did you hook up with this girl? And I tried to say yes, and she started freaking out. So I was like, uh, no, I didn't. And she was like, well, then why would you say yes? And I was like, because I don't like being accused of stuff that I'm not doing. <laughs> nice. Which is brilliant. Which is kind of the <laughs> the, probably the smartest thing I'll ever do. It's like that scene um, in uh, Royal Tenenbaums. You ever see Royal Tenenbaums? Yeah, but where he I tells her he's dying of cancer, and she starts yeah. bawling, and he's like, yeah, I'm yeah. just kidding. And yeah, then she's yeah. like, why would you say that? He's like, I am dying of cancer. He kept going back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're Royal Tenenbaum. Well, because their, their reaction, like, throws you off. You know, they start freaking out and screaming and stuff. So I, I swore. I was like, no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And then a month after that, then she found out. So how did you hold on? This, so this person that told her yeah. it was a chick comic. 
the, 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 the person that... That ratted you out. Yeah, the person that ratted me out was just somebody. Was it a comic? No. Was it a female? Yeah, just a friend of mine. Of course it's a fucking female. Why does everything do you this battle of the sexes? Snitch. It's not a battle of the sexes, snitch. because I knew, no it the There's no, yeah, I knew it wasn't a dude. Yeah, I knew it wasn't a fucking dude. A dude could do that if he's trying to get if laid. If he's trying to put his dick in your girlfriend. Yeah. Right? Or if he's friends with the girl first. But here's the thing about this. But this girl didn't know her. That's, there's no motive no, no, I'm, talking, no, I'm talking about the rat. I'm talking about the I, rat. I know, time, I'm out, saying, time out, time out, time out. The rat didn't evil. know her? If the Not rat... Really, no. See? That's evil. The rat doesn't know your girlfriend? She, the rat is in love with you. Look, there's no, two... Look, she loves there's drama. Two, there's two Wait, evil why is rats, the rats here, okay? The first one Double is rat. the one who in, invited my girlfriend to hang out She's with her. She's a nut. That's she, she, that, I mean, that's like... So you fucked a rat without a rubber. <laughs> 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 a rat without a rubber. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so... <laughs> Hold on. So, but here's the: if someone t rats somebody out for cheating, that person, to me, is almost always, depending on the situation, invariably an asshole. Because you're bringing pain to the yeah, person to make yeah, yourself yeah. feel better. Great yeah. album. You're trying to be this big person, but what you're actually doing is delivering a fucking painful message that's going to fuck they, with the they person. love it. They and you love feel it. like a hero. Right? Yes. Uh, I'm going to step in and say uh, something no. here. Yeah, like you're, like you're, I don't uh, know about If that, you're a serial cheater, if you have a girlfriend, stuff, yeah. if you have a side girlfriend, yeah. it's one they'd be like, hey, this guy's got a girlfriend. He's not treating you. But if you just had a one-night stand, you fuck someone, and then this person goes in and goes, hey, he fucked this one person, you're delivering horrible, heartbreaking news yeah. to this person to make yourself Stay feel noble. Yeah, but yeah, wouldn't, noble. You want, wouldn't you want a friend to tell you? If no. they knew, she's a friend friends. is a different she's story. Not she's not saying. friends with her. That's what I'm saying. I mean, no if my girlfriend fucks okay. somebody and one of you guys knew about it, uh, maybe I don't know. I guess that's crazy. Yeah, I would, I would tell you, Ubi, I would I fucking so. tell you yeah. so fast, yeah. and then I would fucking we would get together and we would jump the guy that fucks Sarah. Yeah, and then Let's tell not bring my girlfriend into it. You're going down, Dan Soder. Yeah. Um. Wait, is that serious? <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> that's a big head. Yeah, that's crazy. That's that's voices. So she didn't know. So how? Why? What was the girl's reason? How? What is your relationship to the girl that ratted you out? Rat girl. Yeah, I don't want to get. Into you don't want to get into a good relationship into with the rat. She's so friend. you're talking about your own relationship? No, no, she but not was a friend. She was a friend, Mike. Yeah. She yeah. was. Yeah. She's no Somebody longer your that friend. I told too much, Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what was your motivation about telling this person? I don't know. Trying to fuck. You must have had a thing for her. Friend. It feels good to talk. It feels good to talk it out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Man, that sucks. So how long after you broke the news and you let it out, the the, the cat out of the bag, or the I rat in this ass. case? The yeah. pussy out of the bag. There you go. <laughs> how long was the recovery time? How long was she mad at you for? Maybe like a couple, maybe, maybe like a week. I'm sure there's still some bad. resentment there. Oh, of course. There, yeah, there, there is. Oh, yeah, still, you, you, know, you, you fuck up the foundation completely. Like, that building will crumble at any moment Did now. she do yeah. the, the mm -hmm. uh, Eddie Murphy, was it Eddie Murphy bit or something like, now she gets dick? Like, a, who is it? The uh, back, Chris that, Rock. Yeah, it's a rock bit. Yeah. That is a free pass for dick now? She told me she was going to, she's like, I'm going to go out and fuck two guys at some point. Two Why two? Guys? That's two. not fair. Yeah. Wow. At the same time? It's not fair. I'd say just get out of the relationship. Yeah, it's but over. he likes her. But he likes her. But you love her, and she seems sweet. She took yeah, you she's back. Great, she's very yeah. supportive. She's a yeah. beautiful gal. Great yeah. tits. Thanks. Really? Yeah, but you know what? Also, now you can just start fucking around behind her back and feel kind of guilt free about it. Because they already, you already did the big one. Yeah. yeah. You you broke the seal. Well, I didn't get away with it. I think you should take yeah, this opportunity to grow. It. You know. Yeah. To, I to, think so too. to feel uh, to gain the the wisdom. See if I can stop being Italian. Yeah. How did she tell your girlfriend? What was the method? Uh, Skywriting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she reached out to her from phone and email stuff. Wow, Ooh. boy, that's and she dumb. just ratted you the fuck out. Yeah, that was it. Now we she were together. Like, but what was her well, reason? I think, why? I think, she... I think my girlfriend reached out to her. And why did so she? She didn't, she didn't want to lie to. And you her. accepted that answer, or did you say, "Bitch, I'm gonna fucking uh, beat you to death with a <laughs> sack of yeah, potatoes"? Yeah, did you go after her at all? Uh, a little bit, but. Uh, uh. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Well, I'm sorry that you I had would, to go through that's that. That's all right. We, we work it out on the pod. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mike, <laughs> do you have any incriminating evidence on the girl who ratted you out? Because that's my whole thing is no, anytime I, I have anything with a chick, like either we'll keep naked pictures of her or I'll just do something so I can have that to hold over her head later on. But she's not. Uh, girls she are crazy, though, right? So. Girls are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> also, if you try to hurt that person, you're just propelling, uh, you're just keeping it going, you know? Yeah, you want to squash it. Yeah. Be the bigger person. End it. You got. You want to swash it, for lack of a better term. <laughs> swash sticker it. Swash sticker. Yeah, that's what I was going for. But I said swash sticker. Come on, guys. I, mean, I saw this thing. movie called uh, Denial. Have you heard about it? Uh -uh. 
It's about this uh, Holocaust denier who gets into this big lawsuit. Oh, I, I, with this saw, woman. The, I saw the trailer. Unbelievably underwhelming. Really? Not good. Mm. Yeah, not good. Mm. Really not good. What a great story. <laughs> well, I thought I'd spark it up a little bit. You know, so thought we'd get some Holocaust talk going. Ooh. Move on from this stuff. Yeah, so thin. Get something a little <laughs> sillier than cheating, you know. So do you think if you cheat, you're saying the, the foundation has crumbled forever? You think it's ruined? I think it's, think it's really I think it's really hard. If you get caught, yeah. That's I, not technically cheating. He wasn't technically cheating. And I agree, no, by no, the way. Was, I completely well, agree. That's true. That I was, like she also he, did kind of like she said, I'm gonna go I'm out, gonna go I'm out gonna fuck, fuck a bunch of guys, I'm gonna send she said she was gonna send me videos. Did she say like black that. guys? Uh no, but she should have. It would have hurt me. Yeah, it would have hurt you more, right? <laughs> Listen to me. If, if she sent you videos. She's from Staten Island. If she sent you videos, that's so, like, wouldn't you just forward them to her father? That's the, my, my first reaction would be like, okay, I'm just going to forward this to everybody that we know and be like, all right, have fun with that, you moron. I don't think Break off their phone with somebody else. You'll be fine. Nah, I think you're fine. I think you'll be fine. I mean, you can work through it. People work through stuff all the time. I yeah. mean, you know, well, they another, work through. Another way to look at it is that the cheating isn't wouldn't be the end of the world. For me, it'd be the end of the fucking world. But, but she it's, gave you that out, man. It's been, the, the, you guys are in a, in, a, in a weird gray area. I think, I think you can recover from this. It's been talked about often, and it's like a, a, probably a hacky premise at this point, but cheating is so much different for man to woman. Man cheating sexually, it I means agree. nothing. Yeah, you just like want to fuck. Yeah. Like a guy, a thousand times in my life, I've told people I have to go take a shit so I can go jerk off in the bathroom and right. I pretended to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rub one out. For a girl, no it's like girl, you're someone inside of you, yeah. inside your body. Yeah. No girl ever goes. I'm gonna take Gross. a dump and then wails <laughs> one off. Yeah, yeah. You right. Know. right, right. Laura, have you ever snuck away to <laughs> masturbate? Not recently, but. So in your life, but have you ever seen? Because there was an episode of Girls. It was sexy. But, like, have you ever s just looked at a guy, talked to a guy? Like, Dave's a very sexy man over there. No, he's not. You ever see a man? <laughs> he's really not. He's and really then, not. He's, he's like the... He's I, not. I think, I think everyone's better looking in the room except for Joe List. <laughs> so, Louie... <laughs> Even Louis, yeah, Louis what? is a Louis is a handsome guy. He's not a bad looking guy. It's Louis not fair to like have this conversation while he has earmuffs on. You got to reveal those ears. <laughs> if we're gonna play. Thank you. Louis, it just hit Louis in the face when he Louis took off. Louis looks like Captain America. Uh, what? Oh, thank no, you. He looks like his I accountant. I got beef with that guy. That guy's stealing all the all these uh, all these Jewish comedians. He looks like Doctor America, Women. DDS. <laughs> He's stealing all these Jewish comedian uh, female comedians f from their boyfriends. Oh, really? And yeah. fucking them. Yeah. Nice. Captain America's. Wait, oh, these yeah, fucking yeah. Jewish chicks? What? All Jewish Jenny comedians. Slate. Oh, I like that guy. Hey. Jenny Slate and another dude. Lewis, great digression, and now you're on your phone. Can I get back to asking Lauren if she's ever masturbated to a man? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we digress into who's handsomer, Louis Katz or Mike Racine. <laughs> I'm, Hell I'm host. talking about this guy on the couch. You think hosting 11 shows, you get a little better at hosting. Lauren, is he handsome? Is this guy on the couch um, handsome? Yeah, he's handsome. He's just not my type. Uh -huh. is, he uh -huh. the, is he the least handsome in the room, like I said who's to you? Who's your type? Like Jersey like Alpha Dog? Yeah, like a Guido. <laughs> yeah. Mike, don't Try to get laid right after we talked about cheating. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's a great way to tell someone they're ugly. He's very sexy, just not my type. Yeah. No, you know? no, is he true? Amazing look. Everyone's good looking. I'm, I don't play this game. But Everyone's good looking. <laughs> that's, not good looking. that's not true. Everybody's good looking. <laughs> Everyone's got their own little twinkle. But yeah, no. Twinkle. Guido. I like a Guido. I got a pretty nice twinkle. Guido. Yeah. yeah, it's covered in herpes. <laughs> it is. So, have you ever seen a guy? Met you have a chat with a guy. You have a conversation. He's wearing tight pants or whatever the hell a guy does. And then you just you have to go to the bathroom, or do you better him to jerk off so you can function in society? No, but I have masturbated to like you know celebrity crushes. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. But not like you you meet a guy, you chat, and then later that night you're like, I'm gonna masturbate no, to I him just that fuck guy. Him. Wow. John, John that was hot. That's a nice yeah. option for a woman. But that yes. is, I mean, you were kind of saying, I think part of your thing you were saying was in the hacking premise was that, like, a woman will have an affair, is, and then, the, yeah, but a guy will just fuck someone on one Which time. Sopranos cast yeah. member gets you all Jackie hot and Jr. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which one is that again? You guys Jackie have your pasta Jr. talk later um, on. Is he the one from okay. the Bronx Tale? He's the, no. <laughs> no he's he dated Meadow, and then he died. He got shot. Yeah. Oh, spoiler. Oh, yeah. Mike, you got to stop. Holding your stare a second too long at Lauren. It's a little much. I've caught you three times already. Yeah, and if you fuck her, don't tell that chick like an idiot. Don't tell anybody. The rule is when you cheat, do it on the road. Tell nobody. No paper trail. The chick has to know you have a girlfriend. Can't be Facebook friends. Yeah. Can't follow me on Twitter. Boom. Done no, and done. No condom. I've like heard. You should write like a book on how to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> um, wait, what was I, was I going to ask you something? What the hell were you talking about? I would just oh, yeah, you were saying something. I was just saying an the idea that women only have affairs and w the dudes only just go out and like have one-night stands. I think right. women might be down if they have one-night stands, too. Yeah, they so. are. 
I'm they, sure. The only chicks I fucked yeah. on the road that were married and they were just like, I'm just going to fuck this comic on the road. I'm not saying. They let you come in them, too. I'm not saying girls don't want a one night stand. I'm saying they sex make you. generally <laughs> is more of a, a, a need for a man. I, I think generally it's true that men have uh, strong Higher libidos. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, no, but I think that I think right now, especially the way we're encouraging women to be more sexual and explore their sexuality. I love it. I feel it. like there's a lot. Yeah, I mean, women are just yeah. like down to fuck and they're. There's no strings attached. It's kind of like Porn this like feminist changed. mantra that they have right now. And you're like, all right, cool. Great, you great. Suck my I'm, dick in the bathroom. I'm not disagreeing, but you talk about this a it's lot. Sucking your dick in the bathroom is burning your new bra. I'm not taking a ground round. You, ta <laughs> you talk ground, uh, I was thinking ground zero. Uh, no. when you said that. I was like, not oh. a good date spot. <laughs> uh, you talk about this a lot, which is one of the reasons I think <laughs> that you're smart, date. kind of, but sometimes I think I'm wrong about that. But uh, you talk about, like, uh, what do you call it? Evolutionary. A man, evolutionary, is his fucking function is to stick his seed. I gotta blow my load and continue human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A woman is to like I have to choose a man that will take care of it. So that yeah. evolutionarily, a woman is trying to find a mate, and a guy's trying well, to dump I, I his think fucking a woman, cum somewhere. We, you know, we're monkeys, and women want to be fucking protected, and we can provide pr protection whether it's somebody being rich or funny or or charming or articulate. Those are all signs of them being able to protect them and take care of them, and. I think from an evolutionary standpoint, women are seeking that out. But if you look at it that way and, like, it's linear, it means that men are, like, not even necessary anymore. It mm. means we're totally unnecessary What do bed sheets have to do with this? That's why we have to be funny. Oh, not are you ever on the road and you have someone, like, kind of throw it at you and then you don't fuck her? You feel like you You, you wasted a, a whole bit. opportunity. I totally know you're what you like, mean. Yeah. You just feel like, oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a man because I didn't fuck this girl. No, I don't but have that at when all. You, when you try and she does, she when, she, she, when she kind of throws it at you, at you and, and you end up not doing it. But if you're, uh, I kind of like that feeling that I could have. Yes, exactly. It gives you power. But I want the validation. If, if I get her to text me, come over and fuck me, I'm okay with that, even if I can't. Like, or, or even if I don't want to. If, if I just get the validation that she wants me to fuck her, I'm 100% in, that's kind of enough half the time. Like, if I'm mm. not in the mood... Also, being a man could be loyal to your girlfriend that loves you and is loyal to you. Up, you could Joe. look at it that yeah, way. Shut up. That could be loyal, and Thank that you. might result in you not getting hit by every fucking woman you meet, you two fucking jackals. There you go. Jackals. So, how is your <laughs> fantasy football season going? What's that, you say? Your starting running back has already pulled both hamstrings, and your sleeper pick is still, um, sleeping? This is horrible. Well, it's not too late to save your season and win huge cash prizes at DraftKings.com. DraftKings is the destination for one-week fantasy football. That means no season-long commitments to busts and bench warmers. Never again will injuries have your combing the waiver wire at 2 a.m. Every week is a brand new season at DraftKings. Just pick your contest, draft your team, and follow the action live. Renew old rivalries with friends and play them every week. Or try 50-50 contests where the top half of all entries wins cash. Even if your current fantasy team is circling the drain, you can still win a huge cash prize at DraftKings. Don't wait. Start your new season at DraftKings.com now. Use code KELLY. That's all caps, K-E-L-L-Y, and play free with your first deposit. That's code KELLY to play free with your share of over $1 million in total prizes this weekend. Only at DraftKings. Quings? <laughs> DraftKings.com. Eligibility restrictions may apply. See site for details. 100% of my guests are on their phone. <laughs> Mark, I felt the vibe there. You kind of lean back. I feel like you don't feel like you're performing well or you're upset. You're sad. Oh, what I, do you want to talk about? What do you want to get in there? I think all the cheating stuff really like got me, and it brought me back to a, a bad time. Yeah, so. you were with a girl for 14 years, and Something it got like to a that. point where you were cheating pretty openly. Yeah, yeah. Openly? And talking about it, and it just got, you know, I wanted it to end subconsciously. and I 14 think that was years? Like, yeah. I mean, How yeah. old are you? That's a rape sentence. Yeah. I'm 33, <laughs> so I, it was like off and on, but still. Wow. Yeah, it was ugly. Because so how, I remember. You, how, from, when, from what age to what age were you dating? Oh, uh, you know, 16, and then I, we broke up when I was like 30. Wow. But and it was off and on moments. What do you mean openly cheating? Like, I'm going to go fuck this girl? Like, how open? Not open to her, but no, just like. like at, in places that she would hang out. A cabin you'd be yeah, when you don't making out with girls. Yeah, you get caught. Because I remember telling cheating. you, I remember calling you and saying, there was like a group of comedian girls being like, yeah, Mark was fucking this girl. He fucks that girl. I have calling you and be like, there's a bunch of people talking about this. Right, right. That, that, that freaked me out. So it got out there. It got out. But you didn't. Mine, okay, because you just wanted out or what? what I was just wanted it? out. I just, uh, I just, I stopped, stopped giving a fuck. But you know? it's so hard to pull the trigger to break up. That's what, yeah. that's what it was. And here's what's which funny, I when you did. stop giving a fuck, they start giving a fuck more. Yeah. 
they fucking right, they get more. Right, yeah, they're like, yeah. why is it? They try harder. Yeah. You got to cut ties completely. You just got to fucking do it. Now, have you tried making amends with the girl? You we're, call her. We're great. But we're you're cool great. Now. But did you actually say, I I'm really sorry I did I that. Really, I, like, it all hit me. Like, I had a wave of guilt one day. And I was just sitting at home, and I just called her. And I was like, Jesus <laughs> Putting Christ. cream on your dick. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And so, uh, we're good now, but she was so, like, yeah, you kind of ruined my life a little bit, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's oh. so different to them, because I got that email, too. She was like, this is somebody's life that you're fucking with, and you're a monster. And But you yeah. said us talking about it bummed you out a little bit, so this must still be a feeling of... Uh... I feel bad. I feel bad about it still, but, uh, you know, I'm over it. Do you, do you <laughs> think, were you just not happy in a relationship, or do you think, like, monogamy's not for you? Ah, boy, I tell you, I, I struggle with that daily. Really? I don't know. I don't know. Monogamy seems insane. Insane. It's but it seems insane. See, it's hard for you because you can get laid. You're very charming. You're a handsome guy. You can get laid. I can get laid. And you've always, Lewis, you've always gotten laid. You're good Flush at it. Plus and plus, always. And yeah. I had that thing Mike was talking about where, like, if I pass it up, I feel like, oh, what a wasted life. I, you only own <laughs> life for one. You get, you get one life. Like, got to live yeah. it up. Got to do every fun thing. I don't know. It's crazy to so, me. It's like somebody handing you a 20 and not taking it. Because Sometimes I, I think right. it's like that, that Albert Brooks movie with Judgment City. You know, what's it? Defending Your Life. Great movie. I, I imagine that you go up there and you're like, they're reviewing your life. Like, there's all these times you could have gotten laid that yes. you missed out on. Do you yes. feel like that? Like you're reviewing tape, and it's like you you missed it. You missed it. And like I got a times. big I got a big uh, cock ego. <sighs> miss what you nipples. Miss what you can't have, kind of thing. Like uh. want what you can't have. Yeah, yeah I yeah. got that real bad, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you're like, mm -hmm. we're going to the movies, I'm like, great. Then I'm at the movie, I'm like, could be done doing something else. Then I'm like, shit. Or I'm like, I missed the movie. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. I can't be happy with anything. But that's the thing we were talking about this earlier with work. You work harder than anyone I know, in my opinion. But you also. And I feel guilty because I'm like, I'm watching movies over here. Like we talked about, I go to the park, I'm watching movies. But you spend a lot of time trying to fuck. Yeah, I go and out a lot, I drink a lot, dates. I uh, go on dates a lot, yeah. That's so crazy enjoy. to me. Going on, like, dates, I, can, I, mean, I think I just don't have money because I have a kid. But just the idea of, like, it's spending money, like, it's, like, minimum $100. You go on no. dates? No. Minimum. No. To not, go out? We're not going on a fucking Wait, you get go on grill. <laughs> date? To get <laughs> dinner with a chick and have a I'm couple drinks? Dinner. 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 Yeah, he's getting drinks. He's getting drinks, man. Nobody's getting right. dinner. He doesn't well, have to go on a date. You got a happy hour. You don't show up with a whole lot of flowers? No. It's like 80 bucks just for flowers. What year is this? Yeah. What are you talking about dinner and dinner? a bow tie and flowers. Yeah, the most expensive thing is the morning after pill. That's the money. Yeah, that shit's $52. Yeah, Whoa. remember that, that night? Yeah, you guys should fuck. Why not? You're both single. Yeah, ah, she's got emotions. You got up. flowing hair. First of all, first of all, Lauren would 150 percent fuck Mark Norman. I don't know. That's not gonna happen. So. Yeah, well, same she didn't right. even deny that she would. She was like, "I would, but it's not gonna happen." <laughs> is it a What's career choice to not yeah. do it? Mark, oh, right. Mark, <laughs> Mark, Mark. Are, you, are you stand up? Do you do stand up? Yeah, just no, she doesn't. This year. Just oh wow! Yeah. Come on, she I does mean, stand up like Louis does stand up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you getting sets? What's going on? Yeah, what's I haven't seen you out there. I just I, well, I haven't been in New York most of the year. I just oh. came back from a tour in China. I was in China. Hey, oh, wow. that was cool. yeah, gaining knowledge, getting smarter than all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I don't know if yes. I gain knowledge. China, it's just a bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how Racine, talk, that's how they talk over there. Racine's ears are literally breaking <laughs> off the fucking cans. <laughs> They're pushing back. <laughs> um, no, but I haven't. I haven't been in New York for most of the year. I was here for a writing gig, and then besides that, I was in different cities. I lived in New Orleans. I lived in New Orleans for like six weeks. I posted up in San Francisco and just worked on new bits. Posted up. Ugh. Sorry. You must have posted up in L.A. for a while to be talking like that, too. I'm sorry. I know being from Boston, you're only allowed to speak like the strictest of white. But uh, <laughs> I use some slang terms, and I apologize oh. for it. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Post up, bro. I'm with Louie today. <laughs> yeah? I'm on team fucking Louie. You posting up, bro? I'm posting up my nigga Louie. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was All Mike right. Racine that said that. <laughs> <laughs> what about Michael Chase saying nigga on SNL? You know who wrote that? Drew Michael. Michael. <laughs> oh, Drew Michael, Michael really? Yeah. But he actually wrote Nigga in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Really? We Dude. got his first big joke on. That, so why? That shit is a fake controversy. It's yeah, ridiculous. Totally. Silly. Nobody cares. No one, no one cares on any side about yeah, it. Yeah, a black guy saying nigga. Let's talk about this. There's Jimmy too much Chase race talk. First. All yeah. the race stuff, it's bogus. Who cares? Let's talk about clowns. Can we get in <laughs> yes, on the clown? You please. have a kid. There's clowns all <laughs> over <laughs> South Carolina <laughs> and, and New, New Jersey. Jersey. By your house, Lauren. Two towns over. What's going on with clowns? Did I'm you sorry. go clown hunting? No, but apparently it's two towns fucking over. I wake up in the middle of the night last night, do a bang on my window. She's rubbing your pussy? Yeah, <laughs> up all night with a dildo. Oh, that's a big shoe. Uh. But, like, now I'm petrified. <laughs> I'm I bet. I'm freaking out. You I'm going to get raped by a fucking clown. Mark lives in the village. Wait. There's no clowns over there. Come uh. on by. Uh, you know. Why does these clowns are raping? 
They're raping the murderer. Are they raping the murderer? Shut so. up. They a they a clown rape isn't even that bad. It's hilarious no, it's when you think about it. <laughs> he pulls a bunch of handkerchiefs. <laughs> yeah, he pulls handkerchiefs out of your twat. All right, Amy Schumer did it, and somebody else did it before oh, her, did. guys. Yeah, I didn't know that. That was quite controversial. That was a whole big controversy. I that was the joke. It, <laughs> if, if I woke up and I looked, peered out my window and I saw a fucking clown standing there, I would shit my pants. Well, band. clowns fucking each other? Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's crazy. No, it's scary, but wait, what's the raping? Are they raping? They're not doing anything. They're chasing they're just kids with swords. Up. Oh, they yeah. are? What's yeah. the swords part? I, I don't know. They, they don't rape anybody. It's they like rape they, what are they UCB clowns? <laughs> it's like the Duke. It's the Duke lacrosse team all over again. They didn't rape nobody, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Absolutely. defending the clowns. Yeah, I defend the clowns. <laughs> but you have a child. What if a clown grabbed James and took at a birthday party and raped him? No, just what, enough with the rape. What's the rape all about, for what? God's sake? Rape and race. That's it's, it's a hacky. Those are the two topics. Dude. Race is hack. It's hack. What? Let's talk clowns. Let's racist. talk clowns, baby. All right, you're right. Clowns are the new race. <laughs> they clowns are. are. They are a these, race. These White face is the new black face. These cl- it's, a, it's a tiny car race. A lot of people in that Louis car. Louis Katz with the only joke of this segment so far. <laughs> what do you mean? There's been a couple. You said things. I know. I had one on big feet. Yeah, I like the big feet. We did the Schumer bit. That was fun. <laughs> 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 so what, what are you? Uh, oh, I thought you were pulling uh, something I'll up pull there. Up, yeah. What did they do? They're they're hiding in the woods and chasing children. They're trying to nab kids. Oh, they're just kids. scaring people though. They're not actually committing any crimes. Scaring, scaring people, people yeah. is not a crime. You can't you can't run after someone with a sword. Yeah. That's a crime. Some, is, is that, that a crime, crime though? That's a threat. It should be. That's uh, a threat. Hold on. What if you have the sword and you have it at your side? You're not even in a striking position and you start running towards somebody. Let me ask you this: Are you a clown? <laughs> Lewis, are what you mean? one of these clowns? No. Uh, watch right. them defending them so hard? No, it's Holy, scary. Look how scary they are. Yeah, I know, dude. Look what at that guy. Wow. Jokey, move a little. Six Jokey, Jokey, pull back. You need to know, That's not the, that's a clown from a movie. That's oh, not what the clowns oh, oh, look, look like. What do they do? Oh, okay. Don't they just, like, wow. stand there? First yeah, they just stand around and creep people look out. Look at that shit. That's Ari Shafir. It's like it. Yes. We all float down here, Georgie. Now, if scaring people... Is illegal or isn't illegal? I don't think it's illegal to scare people. No. I don't think it's illegal. What? Yeah. All right. That's how Louis can walk around legally with his nose exposed. Hey! It's pointy. <laughs> Big. <laughs> I wanted to do ears, but I feel like I did too many ear jokes. A lot of ears, yeah. You, too, yeah. Right. you know, Joe? Yeah. This is why no girls have hit you. Well, I'm trying to host. I mean, normally I'd be a lot funny, but I'm, I'm kind of running the reins here. Yeah. And I'm trying mm-hmm. to battle back from your dumb coops. <laughs> <laughs> Coopy? That was fun. Thanks. <laughs> Lauren, do, have they committed any crimes? I'm hosting. A Joe Grimes. A lot of it's mischief <laughs> and a hoax. Okay, okay mischief. it's nothing. Right. So there's nothing, nothing to be afraid of. You know what? Right. Mischief and hoax sounds one step away from pranks. And those, I hate these fucking pranks that everyone's doing. One prank one, is one step away from rape. No, pranks are rape, dude. Yeah, it's Prank a practical is joker is a Well, it depends on <laughs> the <laughs> uh, Dude, is that out there? That's out there. Oh, now it is. Shit. You heard it here first, folks. Wow. What if we just kiss, Lauren? Just a kiss on air. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Kiss on air. Kiss oh, on air. Yeah. Kiss yeah. on air. Why can't you? I'll block Why? the camera. We're in our 30s. What are we getting out of here? We're going to make out a little bit on air. It's good radio. It's not even a big deal. I'm getting a bonus. That's what I'm getting this out of it. This camera's on. It'll be good Kiss radio. Kiss on air. Or good video. Kiss. Uh, come on. No, Man. I'll block the camera and just get like a, a three Mississippi <laughs> All right, kiss. How about that? We'll do no tongue now. Shut up. And then tongue, tongue at, at the end of the show. I got it. If you we'll kiss it. Mark... Lewis and Louie will kiss. No. Yes. What the, hold on. She's already said yes, basically. Uh, <laughs> and Deep Blue. We don't even have to push her into this. Deep Blue, you sit on Mike's face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll blow Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get a fan on Dave? I want to see that hair moving. <laughs> a fan on a fan. Great. Uh, a hair you got there. Can, can, make out with him for a second. For the show, yeah. Warren. Why? Just it's do it. It's, it's weird now. It's, so it's funny, weird like, that we're all. We are all becoming like, it, you, uh, in a moment like this, I, I go back to being a teenager because this is that exact moment where she wants to make out with Mark. No, <laughs> and yes, you do. Shut the fuck up. The way you're saying it, you 100% not only want to, but you're going to. No, so let's you know skip. Hold on, let's Bobby's skip. Bobby's going to come back and say, why'd you make out with Mark Norm? He's never coming out of this fucking show No, but he's going to be shoving food into his face at the time. <laughs> so It'll be worth it, it not to come Wait, back. Yeah, if Bobby, uh, if the only problem is that Bobby won't have Mark back on, I mean, <laughs> let's get after it here. Yeah. <laughs> You gals need to learn how to live. Live, Oh, I'm living, baby. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see who has the biggest nipples in the room. 
<laughs> How about that? Definitely I have lower. really small nipples. No, I have really, right. really tiny, tight little. I nipples. have I think the it's tiniest. Me. It's gotta no, be Mike. Let me it's see. Gotta it, be pepperoni. You have Mike. the tiniest, you're saying? I swear. Smaller no, than Mike. I bet you've you ever seen got big old fat nipples. I got yeah. small yeah. nipples. Yeah. yeah. I just look at them. Look at his fucking face. But you have amazing arms, Mike. You might have the best arms in the world. No, you're crazy, dude. Are you nuts? Oh, that's a try. He's got a, he's got a decent try. That's no, he's it. ripped. There we go. Okay, all right. He's pretty My ripped. My chest is like a mess, though. Yeah, you got bitch tits. tits. Yeah, I've had yeah. tits since I was 10. Pull that yeah, shirt up, that. puppy. Yeah, let's see, those let's see the nipples. Get it on camera, though. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's get that. a little shock jock radio. Do but keep the ears camera. hidden. Right. You're going to talk, <laughs> talk about cheating, but not your nipples. Yeah. I didn't cheat. Whatever. <laughs> All right, you're lifting it up, for God's sakes. Uh, you started to. This is getting weird. What are we doing? Well, he's starting to do it. <laughs> All right, Lauren, give Mike a blow belly. <laughs> blow belly? What's or a raspberry? A raspberry. I'm from the south. Belly. Belly. We call it a blow belly. One I, you're taking it up from the top? Like this. I'm, I'm mad that I knew that. Oh, oh, Mike, he doesn't want to show us his shit. Oh, my God. That's not a bad nipple. It looks like they are filled with milk. What about these nipples? They're cute. Mike's nipples look like deep through his arms. I got the smallest nipples. Let's see the Cheerio nips. Mine nipples. are way smaller than that. These are those, nice nips. Those are small for size. These are nice what? nips. <laughs> oh, my God! What is that? Those are the tiniest nipples I've ever seen. That's crazy. Very really small nipples. No. Let's see your nipples, Mark. Mark. I can't do it. Why? Oh. Oh. You're shirtless online all the time. I feel uncomfortable with the, the nudity. What? You're not nude. It's just a nipple. All right, Lord, we'll get back to you. Laura, let's see the nipples. Pierce, <laughs> I got pierced nips. It's weird. Wait, is this trick not going to work? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. What if we touch nips? Oh, All that's right. not bad. Uh, over shirt. No, not oh, over shirt. Come okay. on. I touch nips with you every Wait, time we hug. Why don't you want to make out with Mark? Because I, I don't know. Because it's fun and she might enjoy it. Right. Yeah. 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 Like it oh, that's well. not fair. It's like girl code bullshit. You have to do that. No, oh, we can't. It's a great can. show. Right. Ah, it's not great it's radio. Exactly. Those right. nipples are insane. Have you ever had, are you self-conscious about your nipples? I know your height, obviously. I'm not, I'm not even self, I'm not very self-conscious about my physical body. The only thing I'm self-conscious about is my asshole specifically. I you going to say act. Uh, no, I'm, I like my act. I'm happy. Huh, yeah. A little dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I like your album. I listened to it asshole. once. Thank you. If oh, balls thank you. could talk, great thank name. You. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, good name. If these balls could talk. Balls. Oh, whatever. I appreciate it. But uh, <laughs> On I'm, not, I'm really not self-conscious about my body or anything about it. I probably should be, but I'm just not. No, um, you look great. You're very compact. I think it's nice. When you I was a kid, compact. all the, the little guys, they were cooler. Like They were like the cool guys. It looked cooler because they were little. I was lanky. No. I had no, long neither, and neither neither in your head. Cool. No. That's in your head. Yeah, totally. Maybe you're right, but I was always lanky. No one ever thinks of me as like tall. They think of me as lanky and goo like blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's still tall. That's tall. I think being tall is is just it's a huge advantage. It's in superior. This country. Yeah. Yeah. It's really not if you're tall yeah. like Joe is though. Not if you're tall and lanky. I, That's I agree what I'm with saying. Joe. Yeah, I agree. But with you can work you. out or, or put some meat on. I feel like I look great. My torso is pretty. All I'm right. pretty ripped right now. No. I am. You also, no matter how ripped you get, you're always gonna look like a skinny nerd. Oof. Damn. That's not oh. true. That was harsh. You're fat and brown. <laughs> brown. <laughs> brown. Um, brown is... But you know what I'm saying? Like, you have a skinny insult. nerd look. Like, you could fucking... No, I know. It's a bummer because yeah. I'm not a nerd. I have no nerd quality. Yeah, you really aren't. You're not, you're not that smart. Like, you people... Read. I know. People think that I'm a chess player. They're like Star Wars and wrestling. Yeah, I hate wrestling. So I don't like Star Wars. I was a terrible student. Sci-fi, I can't stand. You love sports. You're sports. alcoholic. Scorsese. Herpes. Alcoholic. I got laid. I'm obsessed with pussy. I'm mean, not obsessed with pussy, but I like getting laid. You're good socially. I'm pretty good socially. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah, yeah. Good. So friends. I'm hosting the show. I got a lot of friends. A lot of friends. Never had a problem making friends. Yeah. Right. But I got uh, an overbite and bad teeth and a big forehead and glasses and I'm skinny and a high waist Your and I can go smells. on. Is that true? No. Oh, all right. Jeez. Have you have you uh, what do you like gone with the nerd act? You think? Have you leaned towards a nerd in your act over I don't the think years? So. Just like no. to. I don't, I don't do any nerdy jokes. All right. I, I mean, I am insecure. That's yeah, a real thing right. that I'm talking about. And I'm anxious. But those aren't, I guess those are kind of nerd qualities. Because it's, it's like being the fat comedian who doesn't do fat jokes. Right. You know? well, but also, I'm not a nerd. So right, I would be weird if I did nerd jokes. I'd have to come out and be like, hey, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about these nerd th Like Dungeons and Dragons, that's silly but to sometimes me. Sometimes yeah. the way you look on stage is working or not. It's, it's complimenting your act one way or the other, whether you're playing into it or not. You know what I mean? Like, like no. Well, I kind of have a similar thing where I look very nerdy, but right. I don't talk about. N maybe it's some have some smart references, but it's no, not. No, you're, you're posting up and shit up there. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm using these words. That are <laughs> if people at home, Louis wearing a backwards bandana. <laughs> <laughs> is that even a no? Thing it's not. <laughs> He's got a giant that, uh, uh, radio on his shoulder. That could be a thing. You could start backwards bandana was never a thing. That I don't was think. Tupac. Yeah. yeah, yeah what are you Tupac. talking about? Slaves. <laughs> slaves. House slaves. Yeah, they would wear the backwards bandana. Oh, your I floors. see. Oh, I'm I just was, thinking about I was it. Doing hip hop. I was talking hip hop. I see. All right. Well, all right. Louis right. wearing so all So what are you saying? What are you saying? You look like a nerd saying, Jew. I'm just saying that it's like uh, I don't think I play into it one or the other, but it's what I've been told before is that like what I talk about sometimes contrasts with how I look. So it works whether you address it or not or play into it or not. Who you what you look like on stage versus what you talk about is part of the act. Like Vecchio, for example, is like the opposite of what we're talking about, right? He looks like a meathead, but he's super smart. Well, right. Racine is a spoken. perfect example. He comes out and you go, yeah, but hey. That's that guy. Yeah. yeah. Right? Don't you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah, but his <laughs> act matches his, like, That's look what and his saying. thing. That's what we're saying. Oh, you are? So, okay. Yeah, we're saying that. Well, I think he's saying the opposite. He's I mean, like, I, that's why I say that's why I use Vecchione as a better example. But he's uh, like, "You ladies need to wash your ass." <laughs> <laughs> I do have that's a track nine on if these balls could talk. Well, what do you so. think's wrong with your asshole? What are you talking about? Uh, it looks very fucked up. It's uh, it's kind of uh, it's What's got an extra. Asshole? What do you no, want? No, no, no. Some Arish assholes fears? are beautiful. Ari Shafir's got a crazy bad My asshole. asshole's fucked up looking. Why have you what? looked at your asshole? I've never looked at my asshole. You've once. Never looked at your. Asshole. I don't know what my asshole no. looks like. Yeah, it could yeah, be a smiley crazy. face. I wouldn't know. Who yeah. here has looked at their own asshole? Deep poo? Who the fuck yes, hasn't looked at their own asshole? I can't you guys I've have never it. looked at mine. Half of us have. You bend over in the mirror and you look in between your legs. Uh oh, four out of three people haven't looked at their assholes. Sorry. What? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Don't boy. even look at me. I'll come right over there. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, I'll come over there. I'll kiss you on the lips. A la Lauren Norman. You ever seen that uh that uh viral video where it's these two white guys and they go in the black neighborhoods and like you got you got a fucking problem. They start pushing each other, and the black guys are like, Let, "Let's go, let's go!" And they just rip their clothes off, and they're in pink thongs. Yeah, yeah, and the black great. guys go ah, and run away. No. <laughs> really? No. Yeah, it's a, quite a social uh, experiment. Yeah, blacks hate gays. <laughs> <laughs> it's one hundred percent true. It's it's a Damn. fact. It really is. I would say there's a lot of homo 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 homophobic people in both races. Homophobics. Uh, it's homophobics. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. That's pretty good. <laughs> that was great. Uh, wow. Well, you're on the board, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. Good to have you back. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I guess we gotta start wrapping up here. I mean, Call in sex. if you're black and you what like do we got? Gays. What do we got in the <laughs> chat room there? Uh, a couple of things. Uh, someone says that Katz's nipples look like an Asian squinting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and then someone tweeted at the show that there's a porno of a guy that looks just like Louis C.K. banging somebody. So we could pull that up if you want. You I don't like this video porno? watching on <laughs> radio. Just send no us offense a if anyone does that, but I, I just uh, we're all gonna be commenting on a thing they're not looking at. Is it Louis C.K. theme where he's jerking off on the girls? Uh, I'm not sure if it's themed or if it's like incidental. Uh, we could find out. Right. Anything else? Anyone zinging us, hitting us, burning us, hate um, us? St. Alfonso says, congrats to Bobby on getting Heinrich Himmler to guest host this week. Aha. Uh -huh. wow. All right. That's about That's it. Yeah. I've heard that one before. Really? Who's you look that? like Himmler? Himmler. That's like uh, Hitler's second-hand ah. guy. Yeah. He looks like uh, – I tweeted this recently. You, put yeah, it on Instagram. I've seen it. A little bit, but he looks exactly like Terry Francona. I'll pull it up. On can the, I ask uh, you this, uh, Gomez? Coach? Can I ask Gomez a question here? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. You've said the N-word. You've said blacks hate gay, blah, blah. It, is it so fucking nice to be Puerto Rican and just be able to say that shit? Yeah. If Mike uh, said that, it would be a different ball game. I don't know if it would be. I mean, I, I think people... I guess I guess people don't care because but like Big J says it, Dave says it. We we just gone too far, so it's like who gives a shit at this mm. point? If anybody ever came at me for anything I, I've ever said, mm. I literally every time I can go, oh, we were kidding. I mean, there's I'm never calling a black dude the N word in anger. It's always at a fucking like that's the thing. The people get in trouble for like Hulk Hogan or fucking. Kramer. But you don't or, worry about like the at midnight bookers seeing that and not. They're not gonna fucking. They're no. I mean, they're not. You, either they're gonna book me. Or they're not gonna book me. I mean, I've gotten on TV. People know what I do. Yeah. You know. Um. Yeah. Maybe there'll be some shit that I'll lose out on, but uh, I don't know. I'm getting fans. I think the most important thing is get fans. fans. Yeah. There's some freeing about that. Just yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. I tweeted midnight. that recently. I talked. I was. Uh, I was like. I imagine what it's like to have herpes. It's like. At first it sucks, but then you're like, all right, fuck it. It's kind of great now. I, get, I don't have to worry about it. So. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I, that's the key to wrap it all up, I guess. That's the key with well, however you're doing is to get fans to come yeah. see you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not depending on the industry to get fans. They've, they've never given me anything before, so it's like I've built fans by myself, and I'll so just keep on doing that. Gives you the strength to be racist. Yeah. Well, it's not racist. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's just joking about whatever I want to joke about. I think we all do. 
you know, like a- anybody, you could find anybody. If you really wanted to, you could take anybody from any podcast, any other stand-up sets. You can cut a moment out of context and make people look like they're racist or hateful or whatever. I just, I don't know, like you see that chick who, who you know, with the SNL tweets, like she's uh, deleting 2,000 brutal, tweets. Brutal, And it's, yeah. she's doing that because, not because she has 2,000 bad tweets, because she's going, fuck it, I don't want to sift through every tweet and have to worry about what is what, so let me just chop them all off. Yeah, it's all silly, and we're all very irreverent guys. We're being fun. I mean, yeah, irreverent's uh, fun. We, we, we have dead nerve endings, and we got to go hard, you know, to make a, yeah. get a funny thing. Oh, we're being, we're being funny. I mean, it's all... I, like you said, I don't think any of us are sitting around going, "Hey, boy, these fucking people. We, got, we should execute them. These pieces well, of shit." Whatever. We're seen. <laughs> no, yeah. I would argue comedians are the some of the best people Only on my podcast. I think that, yeah, the I best people I've met in my life. We make comedians. these jokes because it's it's so silly to be racist or whatever. And by the way, everyone yeah. in the world agrees. Ninety-eight percent of the people in the world are not offended by words. They are, when a joke is out there, it's, right. it, the problem is there's this small percentage of people that make a they lot of really noise. fucking care. So they just go on and on and on, and they all get together and. And they want to, what they do is but they want to. They're winning. They're they getting wanna, people they're fired. Not, they're, they're not really getting winning. Fired. Nobody's really getting, getting fired. Bill well, Simmons, they uh, were winning, and then the backlash, part of the backlash is, is Trump, yes. to be honest. Yeah, I, I agree. agree. Oh, for I sure. I completely agree. Yeah. But, who, but who's gotten fired for a joke? Like, people have gotten fired for saying stupid Metzger shit. Metzger had people come to yeah. the office of Amy Schumer. She fought for him. Uh, what's his face? He didn't face? get fired, though. The point is he didn't get fired. He Tosh did. had people coming after him with a rape joke. He didn't get fired. I know, but it's like, it's a headache. It is. It's yeah, a lot of work. Fuck it, the more, the more we just say fuck it, just say what the fuck I we agree. want. I'm the more we do sucks. that, the and the more people get in trouble for it, the more desensitized the public becomes to it. So even look at Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan really dealt with like a week of shit, and we're like, ah, whatever. We knew the Hulks were saying nigger. Let's get real. Like, come on. You really think Hulk Hogan was saying? Anything? He said it in like promos and interviews on the radio before. You know what I'm saying? So oh, I don't. Really? Yeah, I don't think it really. I, I hope you're right, but I think we should start attacking these people who who. Call out the tweets. They're the problem. Let's get yeah. them in trouble. They should be hung off a highway overpass. Yes. <laughs> Hang them up. Very specific. Yeah, no, I look, I'll threaten them with violence, but I mean, what, what are you going to do? It's like, I think we also put a lot more value on how much of a voice some of these, because they're just trolls. They're all just trolls, right. right? They're trolls on the right. They're trolls on the left. They're, they're just people that are looking for a reaction on the internet. They want to get their likes. They want to get their clicks. Right. It's just troll no fucking talent. mentality. That's it. Just talentless no fucking talent. trolls. Nothing new to say. Unoriginal. So they're coming at you, but the reality is they don't actually have a voice until you start freaking out and it give them a voice. It looks bigger than it really is. Yeah. It's, it's like, does, what's your name so, from I mean, SNL? The, the, the black chick. It should happen to Kurt. It happened to Kurt. I mean, this, this just happened. I mean, yeah. Kurt's and also it, a particularly <laughs> psychopathic fucking guy and he says a lot of crazy shit he like argues with these chicks in a and, very... I would, and i would say that he kind of it's funny he's such a not to talk about this because it's kind of old news by now but he's such an expert troll himself he's amazing and then he kind of fell into their troll trap yeah, yeah. and said something and said something i it's weird that he he let himself get caught up in this thing got get, get caught up in it well, yeah, he's not you, gonna back down and we're talking yeah. about like literally you can name like there's it, it's it's boring it's in our world it comes up in our feeds because this is our world right to the real world nobody gives a fuck That's nobody exactly cares right. yeah. my yeah. parents are always the barometer they have no idea who yeah. Kurt Metzger is or this girl on SNL <laughs> yeah, they, they don't, don't know <laughs> any of this shit uh, it's my in mom our feed loves in our yeah, world yeah, like yeah. you said right? there's no. really <laughs> it's because there's like there's people, there's 3,000 people talking about it, yeah. but, but it's all over our Twitter feeds. So we're like, oh my God, but there's 350 million, million fucking people. people. But that's happening to everybody. That's why these trolls' voices sound louder, is because they're only talking with people who agree with them. So they're all outraged. Mm. And everyone that they're friends with is also feels the same way. So everyone being all insular like this, but having these, it's like social media allows you to talk to so many people, but really you're only talking to people that think the same way Dude, as you we've and they're all they're all it's 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 causing it's the problem as well we've right. sent we've sent copies of our legion of skanks episodes to salon and two different feminist blogs <laughs> to try to get them to write ah, about us really? and they just won't <laughs> right because <laughs> you want it they really want to they want to come after you they want to hurt you they don't want you to it's want fucking, it it's hilarious to me like we say so much worse shit than anything the Metzger's <laughs> ever said no. right and we literally we sent it to them. We had fans tweeting at them, and literally nothing came of it. That's what I think. We have that. Like, Mark and I will have a troll that writes, like, oh, you guys are horrible. You're racist. You're I want to be like this. 
You, you gotta listen to this show over here. Like, that, that's what, <laughs> like I'm like, you would never even fucking right. think oh, about us. Explode. I'm like, I was at the movie theater and this black guy was yelling the whole time. I hated that guy. And she's like, you piece of shit. And then you guys are like, how about these N words? Fucking taking our whatever the fuck you guys do. And then you're sucking each other's dicks and all this crazy shit. And I'm like, go listen to this show. Yeah, right. it's, but you know, I think we also package it as being well, a really offensive are you, show. Are you yeah. on, which what network are you on now with the show? I just started my own podcast okay. network. But before you were a racist uh, show on a racist network. No, we weren't, we're not so racist if you stay show. on a racist, I'm just saying, like you're on Kumia's, you're on these, you're, you're yeah. the, the world you're in is it's totally acceptable. Yeah, but to I, be that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's but what I'm we're not in that world anymore. We, we're literally three times the size we were. Really. We were uh, joined Kumi. We had a huge growth spurt recently, and I think that our our fans are real comedy fans that are looking to laugh at shit that they don't get to hear in other mediums, in TV, radio, uh, podcasts. Everyone's so afraid to play with this type of content. And YKW is a great example. We go, we push it pretty far. Legion of Skanks just pushes it a lot farther, but we package it as uh, I always compare it to that uh, documentary. Um, what's the the comment about the the joke? Uh, the aristocrats. Ah, mm. uh, yes. It's like nobody's gonna go. It's like, oh, you're talking about raping a baby and that joke. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, well, no, that's the joke. Well, it's when they think to... you mean it that they get offended. I guess. Yeah, right? I guess so, maybe I it is. I but we're know. always just joking. I don't know. Like literally, if you ever yes. came to me and said, oh, well, you said this, I'd be like, yeah, I was kidding. I mean, right. that's it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna apologize for joking. Yeah. We're trying yes. to find funny moments. If That's people a, went through my tweets, they'd be like, this is a racist tweet. I'd be like, I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> a racist tweet because yeah. it's humorous. Yeah. 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 yeah, That's the thing, too. Especially with the podcast, it's like, we're, we're, we're kidding. And also, we're improvising. I'm going off on an hour. I say a lot of yeah. dumb things. Right. I'm talking continuously Listen, for an for hour trying to be entertaining. Hours? Are you kidding me? Of course yeah. we're going to say yeah. some stupid shit. And then they only get mad when it hits their thing. You know, like, I don't like when you talk yeah. about that, but the rape stuff is gold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not well, to mention people being pedophile. racist against, you know, white people. That's just completely, That's completely acceptable. Fine. That yeah, is, like, get. wildly acceptable. Well, I did a pedophile joke on Conan, and they groaned when I mentioned the WNBA. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Like, I'm in the middle of talking yeah. about fucking kids, but right. don't make fun of the Indiana yeah. fever. That was, yeah. that was a great bit. Um, if you bring up, I did a show in Cleveland, and I brought up the black guys getting shot. Yeah. And it was like si I didn't. That's tough though. I, it was just silent. And then I said, "Any Jews here?" And they said, "Yeah." And I went, "Too many." And that killed. And yeah, it's like, well, why is that okay? Well, because too well, soon. Because Jews aren't Jews being too threatened soon. right now. Yeah, it's too soon. I mean, soon. that's it's, the it's reason. The, it's the maxim. It's I'm not saying I agree yeah, with yeah, them, yeah, but that's yeah, the reasoning yeah. behind it. It's the 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 time. Yeah, the Jews yes. are getting shot in the street. Also, uh -huh. Ohio is a weird place with race stuff, man. Oh, segregated. They're very. They got a very weird vibe there when it comes to race jokes. Period. And granted, also black people have been shooting each other in the streets for years. Oh, yeah, I mean... Well, that's yeah. true. But that's not... Ugh, anyway. But, uh, I mean... <laughs> but there's not a, a whole thing, don't, don't controversy. Yeah, but they all deserve to die. I'm right. kidding! They can't stop. <laughs> all right, Jokes. on that note, we got to wrap it up here. We, I, I got, we got sets, for God's sakes, and we're, 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 the show has been on. We're going three hours right now. No, we're not. No. We're, in, we're an hour and 40. I'm fucking joking, dog. <laughs> Come on, bro. We've only been posted up for 71 minutes. All right, let's go uh, around the room as we like to do here. Louis Katz, where do you got coming up, for God's sakes? Uh, you could see me at Rooster Tea Feathers in Sunnyvale, uh, November 3rd third through six. I'm Come there the week after there. you. Oh, cool. I'll How leave, about that? I'll leave a secret note for you. A note in the pillow. Yeah. On the pillow. Uh, where else? What else? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that shit? Uh, Louis Katz. You just use my name and find me. I don't know what the handles are. Louis just is spelled O. L-O-U-I-S-K-A-T-Z. Yes. Look me up. Check out my album. I'll have a new album sometime soon. Yeah. If these balls could talk. Hilarious yes. album. Thank hilarious you. guy. It's Thanks. great. Mike Racine. Yeah, my half-hour special premieres uh, this Friday on Comedy Central. Hey! Well, this is, coming out, is this coming out later, or are we this good? Is, this comes out this Sunday. This oh, Sunday? Boy. Oh, wow. So yeah. the night before. Racine hit up every podcast to do it the week of his special, and they, <laughs> none dumb, of them right? come out until after. Yeah. That's great. Uh, and then check out uh, Mike's co two Conans on. Go to teamcoco.com. Mike Racine, R-E-C-I-N-E. -E. And leave a You're nice comment. They're on YouTube. And leave, go on, leave a nice comment, and give a thumbs up and shit, because these, these comments are bummers. And uh, Mike is one of the best. I, I've talked about this before. One of my favorite comments of all time on YouTube, Mike Racine's first Conan, which I lost a Creek Award to you. Best Ooh, late night ouch. that year. It was a better set, though. I mean, Yeah, probably. <laughs> you're probably right. Um, but uh, the, one of the comments said, uh, this guy is great. Cool, calm, collected, hilarious. If I did stand-up, this is exactly how I'd do it. <laughs> I love that comment. If I was going to do stand-up, I'd do it perfectly at the highest level. That's what I would do. <laughs> Thanks. <Well. laughs> All right. That's tough medium to say it. Well, I think it's funny, and it usually uh, gets a laugh, and is hilarious, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Fuck that guy. You guys are on his side. 
Mark Norman, what do you got going on over there, <laughs> buddy? Skip the podcast yeah, because he's stiffing me purposefully. He's got his <laughs> arms folded. He's staring at me. You. He's been trying to coop the fest. I'm not the, cooping the, it. Whatever it is. I'm not this cooping podcast. it. Oh, Louie and Mike, you guys do your plugs, and then you just leave for ours? Yeah, that's nice. I really got a piece. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm coming to your show. That's nice. <laughs> Louis, where are you going to be, baby? Uh, the, the 9th of October, I'm going to be, that's this Sunday night, when this podcast comes out. I will be <laughs> at uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the Chameleon Club. Um, got a bunch of other stuff coming up in November and December. Go to GoMustComedy.com, GoMustComedy on Instagram. Check out my other podcasts, Legion of Skanks and the Real Ass Podcast. And also check out my mixed martial arts show with the UFC middleweight champion, Michael Bisping, every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sirius XM Rush 93. The countdown. Mark Norman. Hey, hey. Uh... We're the monkeys. Go on to San Francisco Punchline in October. Come out to that, please. Doing Stick or Treat in L.A. and New York in, during Halloween time. That's going to be great. I'm doing my special hour for Comedy Central November 17th Woo. at the Synagogue in Lower East Side. It's going to be a hot one. Louis. The ticket link isn't out yet. It's at a synagogue. It's at a synagogue. I'm what's, sorry. What's it called? It's called the Angel Orenses Foundation. I don't cool. know. It's 1829. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of weird writing on the wall. I don't know. <laughs> Hebrew, I believe. But yeah, so it's gonna be a doozy. The ticket link will come soon, and uh, hopefully we can all come. And I'll be in Australia. Every every Schumer date, I keep keeping all these tweets. Like, are you doing opening for Schumer? I'm opening for all of them. So come out to all of them. It'll be fun. And uh, yeah, give me a hoot and a holler. Hit me on Instagram and Twitter at Mark Norm. Thank you, Dave. You want to plug anything, buddy? Well, uh, yeah. Just thanks for having me. Uh, Good to watch you guys today, and um, I have a podcast called Sex Actually. So Sex you, Actually. Yeah, we talk dating and stuff, and do a lot of comics. So if you, when you're in L.A., if you want to do my podcast, Sex Actually, we'd love to have you. Uh, we're all set, but that sounds great. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'd love to do that. Louis, you're in L.A. a lot. You post up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds great. Check out the podcast, Sex Actually. Go to Mark's special, November 17th. And Lauren, let's close this out with a big kiss. All huh? right. <laughs> uh, you want to yeah. plug Bobby's kiss? Hold on, wait. Can you make out first. Why? No, don't make kiss a big meal out of it. Just a kiss, Lauren. a lip. On the lips. A kiss. Oh. On the lips. Right, Come on. All right, the other cheek. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, rape. Was, All right, do you want to read the Just watch <laughs> Dave rape. <laughs> Super creepy. <laughs> Sorry, everybody at home. We're uh, trying to have fun here. <laughs> all right. Bobby's on his True Story Tour. You can go to robertcarleylive.com and check out all his dates. Tomorrow he'll actually be in Pittsburgh uh, at the ho in Homestead at Pittsburgh Improv. Uh, October 6th, he will be at Last Laugh. Sixth? Sixth. <laughs> Uh, Last Laugh at Erie, Pennsylvania. Also, if you want to come in and be a guest for uh, and sit on the couch in the studio, uh, just email us at ykwdproducer at ryecast.com. If you want to send anything for the shelves, uh, any original artwork you guys have, 117 McDougal Street, Attention Robert Kelly, uh, New York, New York, 10012. Um, also, make sure you guys uh, download the Robert Kelly uh, You Know What Dude app. Uh, become a premium member. It's one ninety nine a month, um, and you get all the good stuff. You we just dropped the creeps for kids on, so um, you guys will be able to get that. Plus, uh, all the uh, recent ten episodes, you guys will always get. All right. And sorry uh, about hitting on your girlfriend there, Dave. Uh, I should have done my plugs before Bobby's. No, that was you stupid. Can go, you can go last. All right, great. Well, I'm gonna uh, also be at. I just looked to Louis Cassidy. He's gone. Um, I'm gonna also be at Sunnyvale uh, Rooster Teeth Feathers, November tenth through the 13th, uh, doing a bunch of Louis dates. I don't know which ones exactly, but uh, I think I'm doing the majority of them, so go see Louis C.K. Uh, <laughs> but I'm getting similar tweets asking me where I'm going to be, but uh, I'll be on most of those. And then uh, check out Tuesdays with Stories every Tuesday. It's free, and it's uh, funny, and we're silly, and we're gay. And uh, my album, Are You Mad at Me, on iTunes. I think a lot of you went out and bought it and uh, posted and commented. Please uh, go buy that. Leave a review, a thumbs up, the whole nine, and uh, thanks for listening. Deepu, you got anything? Uh, no, I got nothing. Uh, just uh, subscribe to the YouTube mm -hmm. channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any last uh, dumb comments from these animals? Um, no. Are you still doing that web series? No. Oh, dude, thank that, and, God. That was, uh, that was a fun little brief thing. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm uh, bored or sad or horny, I just stop and think about that for a moment. <laughs> really <laughs> yuck it up. Yeah, that was uh, a fun little bomb. That was a good time. 
Thanks for uh, listening to the show, everybody. And uh, Bobby will be back next week. And uh, his health is fine. I'm just kidding. And uh, go see him wow. on the True Story Tour. And uh, <laughs> thanks very much. I love you. I appreciate it. <laughs>